Dungeons and Dragons. And junk drawer. Yeah. What's up, guys? There you are. Hello. How are you? We are here. We are. We are ready to uh, do the damn thing. <coughs> yep. This is it. This is it. This is the, the big bad. This is everything that you guys have been watching for the last year and almost a half. At yep. this point, it will be a year and a half. And uh, the yeah, it is. It's the final battle. Uh, mm -hmm. Last episode was dinner for Strahd. Like dinner for schmucks, but not. You got it. Ha. Um, <laughs> uh, Thok and Rufio went to dinner. Strahd was there. We ate food, talked a little bit of shit, talked a lot of shit, actually. Uh, and then when we went to leave and meander around the castle, uh, we ran into three wormling dragons. And it did not go great. Rufi almost went down. Thok almost went down. Uh, we ended up destroying them. But in the process of that, Strahd was an apparition. And uh, Rahad uh, Rahadin misty stepped through a wall and disappeared. So we lost both of them. Uh, and actually never had Strahd to begin with. So... Super great. Yeah, it went really well. It was honestly it, all according to plan. Justin doesn't know, but this is exactly how we wanted it to go down. I traveled the entire episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he was there when he went to go alert the troops as a raven, and we never saw from him again, so he might be dead. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we shall begin. So uh, <clears throat> instead of following our characters, we're actually going to be take this a little more cinematically. And we are going to go into the actual chambers of Strahd as he is donning onto this classic garb. And you see Rod, and he kind of misty steps in and he goes, Your guests have arrived, sir. And Strahd, looking at himself in the mirror, there's no apparate, there's nothing in it. Just old kind of actions that he still does to keep what little strands of humanity he has left. And he goes, Yes, I suppose so, when the whole castle shook. What did you find out? And Rodden goes, They hate you. And Strahd smiles. Any heirs that could take this? And Rodden goes, They'd be hard to track, but... You do know the halfling is very suscept susceptible to this. But they all show promise. The decision is yours, of course. And you see me, he's putting on cufflinks, and he goes, yes, I suppose so. And he moves across his bedchamber, and inside is this uh, portrait of Tatiana. Uh, it's Irina, and she's all in, like, this garb. It's hand-painted. And he looks at it, up at the, the portrait, and he goes, soon. They're on their way, correct? And Radin says, yes, I believe the wizard will be teleporting them soon. Good. And they all teleport. And he turns around and you see his face shift and he goes, bring me my bride. So we will go to uh, Absidy and Shart. You're on that balcony and uh, Valen, Valian is, I can take you up there. We can try to sneak up. Oh, that balcony. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where, where we picked up from last time. From the dungeon. From the dungeon. And you see him, he's going to knock an arrow and he'll cast Pass Without Pass a Trace. trace. Yeah. So you'll have that plus yeah. 10 to everything. Great, thank you. Is it just us? Just the three of us. Yeah, we gotta wait for Fira to get, I'm uh, sorry, we have to wait for Fira to get finished with uh, a tuning. <sighs> Your voice is so booming. What are we gonna do about that? And you see in the middle of the pit, you see Cheskov and Tibble like bashing each other on the chest. <gasps> yeah! <clears throat> Headbutting, celebrating that they took down this wyvern and you see this little boy, Yeska, he's just sitting on the, the edge of the altar and his feet are just like, as he's watching everyone and he's with uh, Vin and you can see this his breathing is labored as Gray's working on him uh -huh. shit when the army storms the gates they can storm from the inside a two pronged attack alright what do we do a signal do you want me to run back down here and say alright it's go time no and I take off my communicator mm -hmm. and um Shart who is who's the best to command this force. <sighs> Honestly, Cheskov was great in battle. I give him the communicator. Okay. Give this to him so we can tell him when to strike. So I'll just kind of <sighs> shout out, Hey, Cheskov. And then I say, catch. 
Put that around your neck. When I talk into mine, you'll hear it in your head. When it's go time, I'll let you know. You bring hell. I will bring you all of Tempest's fury. That's what I want to hear. Thank you. And you see him. Get ready, men. Valiant looks over. All right. Let's do this thing. So the upway to the spiral staircase is long and arduous. Are you going to try to reach out to the other, the other I group? I oh, are you going to try to? Yeah, I'll just be like, uh, uh, Sock, uh, Rufio, where are we? What, what's going on? What's happening? You soon get that. You need to get from uh, Esmeralda. You need to get to the dining hall fast. Fuck, the dining hall. Dining hall? They're they're in trouble. Esmeralda, just in her voice, said fast. Valiant, do you know where that is? Uh, I didn't really scout ahead. Not entirely. I would assume it's what, on the main floor? I don't... This place is a fucking dungeon. Well, let's try and slink around until we can find it, I guess. <sighs> Jeepers. Uh, so, Rufio, while you're kind of like... <sighs> Like, parts of your skin are starting to fuse to that armor because it got so fucking hot. And just the smoke and uh, the burning flesh and hair from those two fire blasts. As Thok, you're kind of on one knee panting and Esmeralda is pacing back and forth. Okay, what do we do? What, what, I, I alerted the other shots. Should be on his way. I need a break. A break now? We can't really... Ha we can't afford a break now. If I don't take a break... I'm gonna die. <sighs> Shit. Okay. We'll try to take as much time as we need. And um, she's gonna barrel in front. She's gonna <clears throat> arm herself in front of the door, and she's gonna ready herself. I'm gonna help her, like, push stuff in front of the door, if we can... You can move some go ahead and shit. roll some strength checks. I'll uh, help. Uh, 15. Oh, with advantage. 15. Okay, so... It takes some time as you guys talk. What are you doing while everyone's kind of like scrambling Rufio and Esmeralda? Oh, I, I, that's why he rolled with advantage. I helped oh, okay. him. You I helped him barricade the door. So you kind of like bring up this large dining room table as it all the stuff kind of just clatters and shrifts oh. to the ground as you slowly kind of start <laughs> bracing everything. And uh, Esmeralda's going to go, How? so I'm guessing we move this when they come up or what are we doing? Yeah, move it when they come up. Hey, when you guys are outside, do a silly knock. And that's it. What the fuck does that mean? What? What happened? Uh, he said when we're there, do a silly knock. So apparently they're behind a closed door. <sighs> what am I think? What does the door look like? We don't know where you're at. <laughs> a door. Uh, great. So while this happens, uh, we'll follow... Uh, uh, fuck. We'll follow Erwin as he goes up and up more towards the spire in his raven form, slick uh, with the uh, the rain. As he shifts back onto the, the top of the ceiling, you see him waver and he kind of grabs onto one of the shingles and in front of him pops up Wizard Steve wearing a raincoat. And he goes, are we ready, my dude? And uh, Erwin goes, he's been compromised. We're ready. Storm the castle. And with that, he goes, all right. Good luck, my guys. And while you guys are behind the barricaded walls, you start hearing footsteps and the clamoring of, ah, of these armies. And you start hearing this great battle of uh, swords clashing, squelching as Esmeralda and Thok, you kind of all look at each other. As uh, Valian and Shart and Absidy, as you start going up the spiral staircase, you get up to about the first floor when you hear the different, that there are footsteps above you and in the hallway, there's uh, this great battle happening, and Valiant kind of peeks the corner, and he just kind of drops uh, the tautness of the bow, and he just stands up, and he goes into the hallway, and he goes, I think our cover's been blown. Guess you're right. And I, I withdraw my weapons. Okay. Same. Okay, as you go in, you see nothing but undead and zombies as they attack different... Uh, villagers and uh, were, uh, were, uh, wolves and uh, berserkers you start charging through uh, Shark you're cleaving through with your axe and Absidy you're just slicing through and you see um, Valiant in the back shooting off arrows as he's dropping more and more you actually see uh, Lovewish and Agria 
the two wolf hunters from uh, the original part of Barovia, the two drunks. Fuck yeah. <laughs> They're like, this is the best day ever. And he goes, yes, now we have all pelts. And you just see these two fucking jocks just going at it. They're, they're in sync as, you know, one of them reaches out their hand, the other one grabs the forearm and uses his momentum to bash onto another skull. Um, you kind of push forward and they kind of give you like, hey, green guy, you come fight with us later. You know it, but we got work to do. So you move forward and you see a whole bunch of undead trying to scratch at this guest hall. And while you two are in three or in the dining room, you see uh, Thok and Esmeralda. You're both kind of like pushing through. I'll give you about 30 minutes of a short rest. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So roll whatever hit dice you can. And you see just this storm of undead. What are you doing, guys? (sighs) Us or? Yeah, it's you two. You guys think that's the... uh think that's the that's the door they're behind wait so that's what we're looking at Mm -hmm. you're looking at the door of the dining hall and they're trying to get in you wouldn't know if it is the dining hall okay it's a safe assumption probably Um, uh silly knock right they said silly knock okay how loud how loud is the clawing it's it's fairly loud it's a lot of thumping but it's it's not uh in a rhythm or anything so you know it's not a a a knock okay Mm -hmm. um i'm gonna take out my my uh ball bearings mm-hmm. and just in a da 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 throw them throw them all right you do have to move through these this undead like kind of wall of just zombies that are trying to get onto I the can't door throw, throw it at, like yeah the top you of can the door. throw it on yeah you can throw it on the top so you hear pink 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 and then say, and then I'm just gonna say there's a lot of death out here so just we're gonna try and squeeze in just be ready uh, get ready. We're gonna open up the doors. And I'm gonna <clears throat> try and use my strength to... <laughs> okay, so go ahead and roll a strength check. push them aside so that Absidy can get in. Are, are, these, are these dead bodies or they're undead? They're zombies, so okay. they're undead. Okay. Zombie. Would it be a strength check or a strength save? It'll be a strength check. <sighs> What'd you get? Natural one. Okay. <sighs> these... You start getting overwhelmed fast as all of these zombies start... It's like you're being drowned in nothing but undead as you start slowly seeing Shart's hand on his axe get pummeled and getting struck down. I summon the hounds. Okay. And just have them try to tear away undead so that Shart Okay, can be roll free. some attacks for me. Where are they on the other how, side? How, of many, the mm-hmm. how many you want me to roll? Uh, just two attacks. One for each. Uh, There's plus five, right? So 13. Okay. And. Can I do lucky? No, not for them. Because it's them, right? So one. One. Okay. So, all right. You see X, Y, Z, and he's just, <laughs> he's going through. And one, two is a little, a little sheepish. And one, two is trying. And you start seeing them tear parts of one, two's ear off. And it's arm as it starts getting dislocated. <laughs> and one, two slowly gets torn to pieces. Um, he was everyone's favorite. He was my favorite. Okay. Uh, as you're not even Trev is safe. No one's safe. So as it's biting and it's trying to claw through you, you still hear that (laughs) of this zombie horde. Is this after the 30 minutes? Uh, it's, I would say by the time they got up there in the, the gate and you guys moved everything, I was going to basically say that I'll push down on the, um, on the thing, and I'll tell them, get to the sides of the hallway, and I'll look at uh, Esmeralda and Thok and be like, when I say, open the door, and I'm going to stand there with lightning bolt ready. Mm -hmm. You should say that for Strahd. I can turn undead. And then I'll start. That's a lot better. I stand on the other side of the door Mm -hmm. and turn undead, and... You push out. (sighs) Uh, just just mark the box. You're good. Okay. So, Absidy, as you you see this and you see like, um, I'm gonna see how much uh, shark will take. Oh fuck! I don't think there's anything DC or what is it? You have 27 potions. CR one or lower gets destroyed automatically. So you take uh basically amongst this between piercing and bludgeoning, you take about 13 points of damage. Uh, Thok, you kind of put your shoulder to the door. You inhale and you pulse out and you see these uh, 
absolutely, you see these zombies, just flicks of them start coming off as this radiant energy just fills this hallway as it destroys the complete zombie horde that's in front of it. And Shart, you're on your back, gasping for air as it's you, XYZ, and uh, Absidy, kind of. <sighs> Is there anything remaining of one, two? There's, uh, there are a few pieces. There's uh, a femur bone. I take the femur bone. Okay. He was a good boy. So you He's the goodest boy. So you guys hear the 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 stopping Bless of the help. of the oh the stopping of the uh, the thudding. Help me move the table. And I'll help Thoc move. Cause he's strong and stuff. Okay. So go ahead and roll your strength check. Fifteen. Fifteen. You managed to <laughs> Fling the doors open and Absidy, um, <coughs> they open it from inside. Rufio looks fucking wrecked. He's his skin is like fused. It looks like with his armor. Thok is not looking good. And as you look onto Shart and Absidy, they look banged up as well. And you guys are finally back together. I actually look pretty good right now. Same. Still doesn't get away from the fact that you're fused onto your armor at the it's moment. It's gonna feel so good when I take this off. Yeah. If you take it off. That's where I can help you. <laughs> hey. Hey. <clears throat> well, as soon as I get in, I'm just literally gonna <laughs> and uncork a potion and take it right away. Okay. Because I'm gonna need it. Go ahead. Oh, thank God. Seven plus two. Okay. That's... You what, going a little crazy there with the potions, huh, big boy? You guys have no idea. Uh, you guys have no idea. <laughs> I don't care. I'm so happy to see you guys. But we got the sword, right? And we got Vin. Where's Fear? I'm I'm still with X Y Z, just kind of consoling with yeah, him. Yeah, so you, see you have to yell head, out like, to me. <sighs> from what I know right now, from what Absidy said, uh, Fear is still in the catacombs. We found the sword. He's attuning to it. The sword accepted him as wielding it. That's all I know. I don't know what it does. I wasn't there. Vin's alive. We got Vin. All all of this is great, but we need to, to move. We have to take out Strahd now. Well, I, I don't know. know how long those armies are going to be able to... We gotta to... move. We left Piotr um, down. Ooh. Piotr? I... Oh, would you know that? We would have cleared each other on what we were doing. Okay. You sent him next when you guys were standing next yeah, to each other. That's you when were like, you go... Valley and like, pitched the idea. We were all up next to each other. Dabbing Piotr... Guard, mm -hmm. guard, guard, dirt, and then because follow him up with without a trace. Without a trace. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. You sent him oh, the red shirts were guarding him. Yeah. yeah. No, we we left Piotr with with uh, Fear. Um, as soon as I'm gonna pretend that that's a good thing. He can cast pass without a trace, so that way he can get him up here safely. Great. I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. I'll, and I'll walk up here. That's what got us up here. He'll be fine. He's strong, and that sword is no joke. He'll meet us. Well, let's go find the son of a bitch. How? Uh, the big castle. Where, if you were a giant douchebag, where would you be? Is there a gym? You think, I was going to say, is there a weight room? Is there is there a gym? <clears throat> you think? I don't think there's a gym. There's probably not a gym. Does he have a war room? We destroyed his, well, Casimir destroyed his sleeping chambers. Where is Casimir? He died. Yeah, we don't think he made it. What do you mean? Ca Casimir's gone? We found his sister, and then we found Strahd's tomb. And in Strahd's tomb were three lady vampires. Brides. Whores. <laughs> and they tried to kill us. Um, we all managed to get out, but he, he blew it up with himself inside. We didn't see him come back. Or, I wasn't there, I'm sorry. Just kidding. We knew there were going to be sacrifices. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to... angrily mm -hmm. rip a hole, a big one, mm -hmm. in the dimension, reach in for the scythe, pull it out by the chain, mm -hmm. sling it around my shoulder, and just start screaming for Strahd. Bring me Strahd! So you see, bring me Strahd! As you do that, you actually hear outside of the castle a loud <laughs> You don't know if it's thunder. You're not entirely sure what it is. 
outside the front of the castle? Uh, very tippy top of the castle. That's so big. It and there's just a rattled there's a everything. staircase. Somewhere. There there's multiple staircases. There's multiple staircases. Which one would we assume? It it sounds like it. Perception. It's called, yeah. yeah go perception. ahead. Roll perception. So keep in mind, I have a the ability to locate objects. Twenty five. Okay. Natural 19. What'd you get? I rolled uh, 18. 18? Perception? Yep. For all of us? Guys, if I rolled a 25. <laughs> yeah, well, I rolled a natural 12. <laughs> <laughs> so, hmm. I mean, I rolled mine the same time you did. It you sounds just... like it was uh, from the eastern, well, where you're facing probably, yeah, the eastern portion of the castle, but it sounded massive. Hmm. I don't think that was Strahd. You you said locate object. What are you what are we looking for? I'm trying to think. Did um, out of game? Did uh, mm -hmm. Spectre Strahd have any like jewelry or anything? That's roll like... a uh. Hmm, that's good. Roll a intelligence check. See if you noticed anything. Oh, oh that's Just straight intelligence. Come on, Thok. You got this, baby. Come on, come Believe. On, come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thirteen. You saw him fiddling with this black onyx ring. During the dinner, he kept fiddling with a ring. I can try to, like, locate the ring. And if he's within a thousand feet, I can tell you where he is. You know what? It's the best shot we got. We don't really have any other option at this point. Okay. And I take the fork. I, I take my own fork twig mm -hmm. and mutter a few words in Orkish and cast Locate Object. You kind of release the, the twig and it actually rises up and it points right to the, uh, to the east. It doesn't point up. It doesn't point down. It goes to this long hallway at the end of the east where there are these red crimson doors. He's probably Please. behind the blood doors. Red is our favorite color, right? I never managed Blue. to ask. I never managed. Okay. This will last for 10 minutes, so let's go. Let's go. Uh, and as everyone goes, Rufio's going to put a hand on Esmeralda. Yeah. Um, you need to go help the armies. Got it. And you see her. She gets those two fucking witcher swords. And she's like, don't die. Uh, I'll try not to. Are you going to help me with this later? And I, like, show her, like, that it's, like, attached to my skin. Well, let's get to that point. And you see her. She just starts mowing down shit. Just stabbing. And Rufio, like, takes a minute and is like, I love watching her leave while she kills stuff. And you hear, ding. <laughs> Roll for dick, side No. Um, okay. So as you you go over to these doors, uh, big wrought iron, just no. They're actually carved out of, uh, it looks to be ruby. Just straight stone ruby doors that you can all push together if you'd like. Go ahead and all roll strengths. No saves, just strength checks. Eleven. What the fuck, dude? I don't. I'm not raging yet. I don't What'd know. You get? Uh, in my anger, an yeah. eighteen. Ooh, <laughs> same. 18. Four. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it takes oh. a good little part, but you and Shart are kind of looking at each other, and Thok and Absy are like, "Let's fucking wreck this shit." And they open enough to where uh, Thok can pass through, but it's fucking hard. True. True. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. You're the muscle beast, not me. What's your strength modifier? Two. Really? Yeah. That's higher than that. What does all that mean? Okay. Let's see here. We're gonna put. <laughs> Don't look at it yet. <laughs> uh, you can't see none of this. <laughs> shot all the way over there. Oh, we're gonna. Know where we yep. Are, so we're gonna use this for. You know who it is, bitch. <gasps> no. Where? Yep. You know who that right, is. Right here. I know who that is. You know who that is. Maybe. You know what I it can't is, bitch. Everyone, so you know who it is. But the, he's still up, yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> let me just oh. let me just pull up that description because I like it. And then I'm gonna close this book. Oh. Is that and that's it? That's all the, book the books. Is going the closed? books done? Well, I'm gonna use the the blocks. But oh well, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like. Then that's it. We're out of we're out of book now. Fuck. Cool. All right, and we did it. <laughs> Done with Thanks, this guys. Book. All we had to do was walk in. That's apparently his weakness. Yeah. Oh hey, what up? 
<laughs> we walk in, he goes, ah! And just dies. <laughs> you guys are here? My stars. <laughs> Welcome to my bedroom. Um, so, so, real quick. Yeah. Uh, those, those three scrolls you gave me. Mm-hmm. Warlocks can't learn any of those? Mm. No. Because they don't, don't have learn. spells that way. Yeah, you we, don't we have a... Or... We cannot, no. Okay. You guys don't have, like, a school that you guys can learn it from. Like, wizards will be... We learn them from the deity. Yeah. We learn okay, and, and that's patron. the only way that's we get any sort of way. spells? Yeah. Okay. Is there anyone in the party that can? Totally me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think it'd be I'm you, divine. right? Can you learn Fireball, Cone of Cold, or Lightning Bolt? You Not can't do it right now. They aren't cleric spells. Oh, okay. Is it in Arcane? So I can't do them. So it'd be like wizard. Um, they'd have to take time to write it in the yeah. spell book, and like it's a process. You can. Oh, spell. Okay. There is a certain warlock that can write. It's a. Uh, I think it's. It's a pact of the tome. Pact, pact of the, the tome. tome. Okay. But uh, okay. So as you go through, it's dim. Colored light filters through tall, broken, and broad, broaded up windows of stained glass, illuminating the ancient chapel of Ravenloft. A few blats flutter about near the top of the 90-foot-high domed ceiling. A balcony runs the length of the west wall. Fifty feet above the floor, in the center of the balcony, two dark shapes are slumped in tall chairs. Which is what you see. Benches coated with centuries of dust lie about the floor in a jumbled disarray. Beyond this debris, lit by a piercing shaft of light, an altar stands upon a stone platform. There is a figure on the stone platform. Uh, The sides of the altar are carved with Reliefs of angelic figures entwined with grapevines. The light from the fall uh, above falls directly on uh, the altar. And you have your two shapes. You see Radin and fully clad in this red and gold armor. You see Strahd take notice of you as Irina is completely passed out on the altar. And he goes... (coughs) My guests have arrived. You actually going to fight us this time, you bitch? I'm sorry, Meandering. I did have to get everything ready for the wedding. The wedding? Great. Uh, So I'll ask you the question I asked your apparition earlier. How do you feel about cursing yourself to this land forever for a woman who doesn't fucking care about you? How's Sergei doing, bro? Sergei's dead. And if... And you'll never be him. Isn't that such a shame? I don't want to be him. You wish. And he kind of caresses the side of Irina's face and he goes, she doesn't love me in this body. She dies and comes back again. I have unlimited chances at this. This A 0% chance is always zero. This is a joke. You're being played like a fool. Well, I suppose you've come to take the girl and kill me now. I want, uh, I'll turn to Thok really quick, and, uh, I'll ask him if he can bring the lights up, because I want to, I want him to see what's coming. I do thaumaturgy there. Okay, and you see Strahd, doesn't even flinch. Is this how you want to go down? You insinuate that I am. I know that you are. Then please come forth so I can finish this. Great. Let's do it. And roll initiative. Woo! Oh. <laughs> as they say in, as they say in the streets, uh, uh, it's happening! Uh, uh, why is this happening? Do you get a one? <laughs> no, a three. Okay. Because <laughs> someone got a one. Yeah. How could this happen? That's where clerics need to be, apparently. It's in the it's back. Important. It's important. Okay. So are we having, are we still having the dog on my initiative? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that is that person. I think that's how rangers these familiars are too, right? Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken. I think like, so. They go on your turn too. I'm trying to think. I don't have a familiar, so I'm not 100% sure. If you did Path to the Chain, you could have. Oh, well. One more bad roll with this and it's gone. <laughs> You roll bad for initiative? I have advantage on initiative, and I got a six. Gross. Okay, yeah, we so... we do, actually. Yeah, no, I, that's why I pulled it out from under the table. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just pull this up, because I need their stats. Uh, anyone above a 20? No. Okay, mm-hmm. we're going, we're doing this. Um, okay, 15 and above. 
17. Okay. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, 10. Is it not more? Shocked up. 10 and higher. I drank it all. Uh, 13. Oh. Anyone else? Nope. 10 and higher? Okay. So that's Absidy. Five and higher. Six. Oh my god. That's what I hey, said, man. He's higher than me. Okay. And I have advantage. So I said one more bad roll out of this thing. It's gone. Stop bragging, Mike. <laughs> one more All bad right. roll and it's gone. What'd you get? Three. Tres. <laughs> I got a plus zero initiative, y'all. <laughs> okay. And with that, Rufio, you're up first. Dope. Uh, I'm going to move my full 30 feet. Okay. 30. Here. And I'm going to fire uh, on Eldridge Blast at Strahd and one at Fuckface McGee. Okay. Rahadin. Fuckface McGee. Well, there I'm you go. I'm making sure the people at home know. It's a natural one. Okay. For Rahadin. And that's a third 12 for Strahd. Okay. Both miss. I'm going to fire again. Okay. That's a natural 19 for Rahadin. Okay. That'll hit. And that's a 10 for Strahd. Strahd does not hit. Okay. Okay, go ahead and give me Rodden's. Uh, <coughs> nine points of force damage. Okay. Minus nine. Got it. Okay, so you see the chest plate on Rodden get knocked back. They keep hitting me, sir. And Strahd goes, then go ahead and take care of it. It's not going to stop now, big boy. And I'm going to flip the silver gauntlets down. And you see Rodden and... <sighs> Okay, let's move over to Rodden. Okay, he is going to do, 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 start stepping forward. It is Rodden's turn. So he has a move of 35, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So he's just going to start stepping down and he'll be there. This is a very big area. And you'll just see him um, pull out his scimitar and he's going to cast a spell upon it, and you see it glow with this arcane energy. Just because I, I might have missed it. What is that area that he's standing in? Is that an area that we can walk in? Mm -hmm. or? It's just, I'm sorry, it's just a massive seal, Strahd's uh, family crest. Gotcha, okay. That makes just sense. Just engraved on the floor. Mm -hmm. I still don't want to trust it. Okay, uh, sorry about that. It is um, Absidy's turn. Okay, uh, both... My, XYZ and I move up to align with uh, Rufio. Okay. However many I'm in front of Rufio. 25, 30, 30 no, 40, no, 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 no. Like right next to him. Okay. So then I only have 25, so I guess I'm one step behind. You want to be behind XYZ or? No, no, next to. Yeah. Yeah. That's as far as you get. Yep. Okay. Uh, and up. then with my attack, I'm going to do two Eldritch Blasts. Okay. Both at. Uh, Rodden right and Strahd. Fuckface McGee. Right with Fuckface McGee. Okay. That is 18 for the first one. Okay, uh, to Rodden? Yep. Okay, that'll hit. And 10 for the second. To Rodden as well or to yep. Strahd? No, both at Rodden. Okay, 10 doesn't hit, and I'm so sorry about the first one. 18. 18. 18, 18 will hit. Okay. Sorry, I'm running notes. You're good. Get it, That's baby boy. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, ten points of force damage. Okay, ten. And you see... <sighs> um, I what just want to see doing? if I have anything useful. <clears throat> baby boy. Is anyone... How's everyone looking? I'm at full. I'm, I'm, I'm full. Full. Sharp. Four down, but my max is what's fucked. So. Okay, well, I'm going to use a, a bonus action to throw a potion back to you anyway. And uh, actually, I'll I'll dash just so I'm right next to the wolf. Okay. Hound. Okay. Uh, it is Shard's turn. Okay. Jeez. Um, <laughs> I have forty feet of movement. Uh, use all of it to just get straight up past everybody. Okay. Yep. And uh, I'm going to. I'm going to rage. Okay. And uh, just because he's within range, uh, I'm going to throw a hand axe at Rahadin. 
Okay. Um. So. Poor Rod, and he's just living his life, guys. I mean, fuck <laughs> face McGee. He's closest because range is not going to be kind for so, trying would, to hit Strahd. Do you get uh, advantage if you're one step back? No. No. It's no, it's works. gotta be that's like melee. Oh, attack. it's only melee. Yeah, melee attack. Uh, that is a twenty-five to hit. Twenty-five will hit. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Jason called a rope. Uh, that is twelve points of damage. Okay, twelve. Got it. Moving right along. And you kind of cock back, and you throw this hand by axe, and Rodden's just fucking taking all of this, and he's just getting more and more mildly annoyed. Uh, Thok, you're up. I'm gonna move up. Okay. Um, I'm going to. He's within sixty feet. Yeah, uh, I'm going to use Sacred Flame on Raiden. Okay. I need a Dex save. Dex save for Raiden. Okay. Uh, Fifteen is what he needs to beat. Okay. And if he beats it, then nothing happens. But if he does not, he'll take. 13 radiant damage. 13 radiant? Yep. Awesome. Okay. And you see him and he lights up. <laughs> and you start seeing the pieces of his hair start burning off from the uh, from the fire. Uh, it is Strahd's turn. <laughs> Did um, roll a one on initiative? <laughs> he was the first person I rolled for, but that I prefer that, actually. <laughs> um, so he is going to move. Let's see here. We have, what, 5, 10... 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I'll move him here. And you see him almost inhuman. And you see him and he goes, whoever will strike me will get Barovia. Make your hits count. And he is going to, let's see here. He is going to cast... Uh, Children of the Night. What the fuck? And that's two. <laughs> oh, he, I'll guarantee you he has all the fun toys. That actually works. And as he does that, two flame skulls are gonna pop up. Oh, fucking hell. At least you have fire resistance, bro. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> hey, it, it's coming in handy. <sighs> okay. And that is going to be his action. And we'll go back up to Rufio. Sick. Uh, so I'm going to look at Absidy and go, let's fucking end this tonight. And I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Hexblade's Curse uh-huh. on Strahd. Go for it. Uh, he's 30 feet. It lasts for a minute. And I gain a plus three bonus to damage rolls. Okay. And I can crit on a 19 or 20. Uh, it also, I uh, get seven hit points if he dies. So <laughs> okay, <laughs> jeepers. Text. Yeah. Oh shit. Put on the cape. There you go. I want him to see. Uh, nah, nah. Uh, and I will unchain my scythe mm-hmm. and look at him and just go. This is what I've been waiting for. Are you within five feet of me? I think. There's- 10 feet. He's within 10, 10 feet. Oh, he's 10 feet away. Yeah, from I'm you. 10 feet away. First from, one's a Mias. From me? That's an Eleven. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And that's a 19. 19 doesn't hit. 19 doesn't hit. Dope. As you see, king, king, it kind of bounces off the armor as you reel back. Guess I'm going to have to try again. Um, and that's my turn. Okay. Uh, It's going to be Rodin's turn. So... God, there's so much fucking flipping. Um, Man, she was right. <laughs> let's see here. So we are going to move homeboy forward. Uh, he's got about 30. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. What, 30 would be here? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And let's see here. And he's going to throw a poison dart at... We'll do... Rufio. Yes. So he, uh, Rodin's gonna throw a, um, two poison darts at you. Cool. 
Fuck me up. Okay, does a 29 hit? Yes. Okay. Ooh. Does a 26 hit? Yes. Okay. So we'll do the dart portion, which isn't going to be much. So that's four. Wow. I'm doing great. So 20 piercing. And then we have... Uh, I just lost it. And you take uh, 10 points additional of poison damage. Darts aren't going to be much. 20 piercing. I, oh, no, he, I knew he were. out. He went... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and it is going to be uh, Absidy's turn. Does that at least peel a little bit of the skin off the plate? So it like, <laughs> makes no. it a little easier to take off. It does not. <laughs> not but you smell bad now. Okay, so uh, XYZ is going to move up next to Shark. Okay. Um, pack tactics, but also... So that if I cone now, I can hit both of them, but not affect the two next to me. Correct. Right. Okay, so cone of bleh, the fire, fire cone. <laughs> okay. Bleh. Go um, ahead. So they it's need to do, yep, uh, make a DC 12. Okay. Let's see here. I think we need to put the other music back on. Okay. It, it, that won't loop. Uh, I thought it would. So you see um, Rodden. He kind of trips as he tries to get out of the way. Go ahead and do your your okay. damage. You don't have a bunch of d6s on them. Yep. Just because I, I, I forgot to pull them out. Three here. We got it. Three. I got six. Got Perfect. Okay, so that's one, six, ten, thirteen, fourteen, eighteen. Okay. Is there a plus on that or no? Or just uh, just nope, five? just straight. Eighteen. Okay. And you see... Um, Strahd, he starts to move, and you see that his foot kind of trips up, and he just plants his foot back down, and he takes the blast. Um, and Rodin takes the full 18 points. Uh, what else are we doing? Okay. Uh, Absidy is going to run up and jump on uh, XYZ's back. XYZ? Okay. What, if I dismount, is that half my movement as well? Is <clears throat> that how that works? I think so. Okay. So jump on his back. And cast Dissonant Whispers. Okay. On? On uh, Strahd. Okay. Is it a save? Yes, let me pull it up. Okay. It is... Wisdom Saving Throw. Okay. That's all... Oh, 15. 15? Uh, what happens on a success? On a success... Give me what it does on okay. uh, success Okay, so 3d6 and fail. damage, and you don't have to run away from me. Okay, and what's a, a fail? You run away from me in 3d6. Okay, so do your 3d6. 4, 5, 4, that's 8, 13. 13. So on a success, it's uh, not halved, it's just straight, just not fair, not scared? Not scared. Okay, right. that's fine. And you see him, and <clears throat> he looks over, and he goes, Okay. And the whispers were, you're a bitch, you're a bitch, you're a bitch. <laughs> Didn't. Okay. And he goes, charming. Uh, anything else? Um, I'm going to bonus action use a potion. Okay. Uh, what else? That's it. Okay. Chart. I'm going to go ahead and use my five feet of movement to get right in front of Strahd. Okay. And I have allies within five feet of me, so I will be attacking at advantage. You sure. also have inspiration. I'm keeping track of that. Okay, Don't just worry. making sure. I, I know it's on there. Uh, that is a natural 19. Miss. No, that's a crit. Oh, sorry. It's a natural 19. Is yeah, a crit. it's a Fuck. crit. So uh, that's okay. the first attack. Second attack is a natural 19. Okay. Nice. Okay, so. Um... Oh, boy. You need some die? Uh, no, I don't need. To, I don't need them to die. I just need to get them out of this tray. So first attack is 13, 17, uh, plus twenty three, twenty five. Mm -hmm. Um, do I want to reroll that one? No. No. Oh, so okay. twenty five is the first. Twenty five is the first one on Strahd. Okay. And the second one is seventeen, twenty one, twenty seven, twenty nine. 29 for the second. And I'm going to re-roll that just to be on the safe side. 12. It's not going to beat it. So 29 and 29 and 27? 25. 29 25. and 25. Yep. Okay. And you see as you rip into him 
And you see kind of the blood. <sighs> okay. Uh, Doc, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to look at Strahd and kind of look at Rufio and nod and do a hand gesture and do Path to the Grave okay. on him. So the next attack that hits, uh, he has vulnerability to. Okay. So damage is doubled. Okay. Uh, that's my... Yeah, that'll be my action. And then I'm going to move back a few steps. So let's go ahead and end. Okay. Do me a favor. Roll. I don't have it on me. I don't have a D2. Uh, I have one. Uh, roll a D2 for me. Oh, God. You're okay? One. Okay. Cool. All right. Anything else? Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, Strahd is going to look over at Rodden. Rodden's like... <sighs> Strahd goes... Looking at uh, Sharp. He smiles and he goes, Make sure Spot is comfortable. And Rodden's going to nod. Uh, then Strahd is going to... Uh, let's see what I want him to do. Let's use... Sure, what's comfortable? Spot. Spod. Spot. 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 Like a puppy. Puppy. Arm strike. Okay. Um. Okay. He is going to cast. You know what? He's gonna just swing on. Uh, short. Let's see here. Uh, 18? That hits. Okay. He's gonna pull his onyx blade out. I'll do... Uh, so you're gonna take 9 points of slashing and a 5 of necro. So, so, 9 points overall. Yeah. And then... And then that... Brings my max HP down 5. Uh, yes. And then... Does he want to do that now? Yeah, okay. He's going to multi-attack. So he is actually going to... You're going to start seeing him move forward, and the armor is going to open up, and he's going to step out of the armor, but the armor's still going to stand with uh, his blade. And he pulls out from his other side his other blade. What's this one? The hex? Okay, yeah, so the hex on Strahd? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did he move up, too? He did move up. Would I get an attack of opportunity on him? Don't take it! Oh, he's still within five feet of him. He can't. He's still within... Because he does it because of the path of the grave. He wants to wait. Mm, right. Don't take it. It's up to you. He's still within five feet of you. He didn't leave your fear of influence. Oh, that's true, too. Okay. Uh, <laughs> does a 16 hit? Uh, who? Me? Yeah. No. Okay. He's going to use one more attack. That doesn't hit. So he just kind of... He's toying. He's... <laughs> And you're just kind of bobbing and weaving. Uh, and then, Rufio, it's your turn. Uh, okay. Oh, so he's actually right. Actually, you know what? I didn't do flame skulls yet. Wait. But so you already said. <laughs> so is that is that the, the setup? Like that yep, angle? Yeah, basically. Okay. I'm just going to um, pull Absidy off to the side. XYZ okay. is where you are. Yeah. Okay. Oh, are you on XYZ? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to start moving this guy. 30... And this guy's going to start. So, 15, 20. All right. Let's pull this here. And we'll put this here. So we have... Perfect. I got it. What is it? Turks or? Okay. Uh, he is going to... The purple one is going to hit a fire ray on Rufio. Uh, 23. Hit. Okay. Uh, 12 points of fire damage. And then the second one is going to try to bake uh, Absidy with his fire ray. 
Oof, you're so lucky. Uh, 13. No. Okay. And you kind of see this ray, and one, two, or, sorry, XY is able to kind of move out of the way. Uh, sorry, now it's Rufio's turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, now use my bonus action to cast Valve Enmity on Strahd. Okay. Uh, Does that drop the hex? or mm-hmm. Okay. They're, neither one is concentration. They're channels of divinity. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now I get uh, to attack him at advantage. Okay. With every attack. Sure. I just get to attack him at advantage. Um, and I'm going to take a swipe at him with the Reaper Scythe. Go for it. I can't use two, right? Ranged would be a straight roll. Right. Range would be a straight roll. Got it. Well, I'm going to go straight roll. That is a natural one. Okay. Um, If it bamps out of my hand, I can just call it back to me. It doesn't I don't matter. know what I want to do with that yet. Okay. Um, We'll have the, the blade start to crack as you knock onto the Strahd's armor and you pull it back and you see the... I thought his armor wasn't on him. Oh, I'm sorry. Onto his chest. <laughs> the Strahd kind of bats it away with his sword. Uh, and I will take the attack of opportunity and move one step back. Okay. He's going to go ahead and thrust down. Okay. That's uh, a nat 19. Oh, uh, 19's armor class anyway. So, okay. So he's going to go ahead and... So it's 17 slashing and then uh, five points necro. So 22. Yep. As he kind of swipes up. And I will take two more swings with the Reaper Scythe. Okay. That isn't going to do it. Natural 19, which is actually a critical. Okay. With Hexblade's Curse. Sure. Um, so before you start rolling all your dice. Yeah. When I had Thok roll the... the D2, the yeah. uh, Path of the Grave is on the armor. We don't know that. But you don't know that. I just, I'm, I, I'm giving you the, I don't want you to roll all the dice for it, and then I need to know what the... Well, it'd be the normal dice that he rolls, and he just times it by two. Right. Because it just gives him... Instead of by, like, four. It's yeah, a... instead of rolling four die, you just roll two and just times it by two. Right. I still get my crit, though. So. Correct. Um, that's fine. I'm going to drop a level two smite as well. Okay. <laughs> yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Smite's done. Do I have four D4? I don't. And I need another D4. Oh, D4? Yeah. Red or... Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. How do you want to start? I don't know where to start. Okay, I'm gonna reroll both of these outside. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna reroll this outside. Okay. I'm gonna reroll these outside. <laughs> they are exactly the same. Uh, okay, so let's start with the first round. That's 10, uh, 16, 22, 28. 31, 37, 44, 49, plus 16. 49 plus 16 is 65. 65. Okay. Uh, And plus my proficiency, which is a 3, which is 68, plus the bonus of 3 from Hexblade's Curse. 71. 71. Okay. Plus 2d4 bludgeoning. I'm going to re-roll that one, which is mo- six more. Okay. 77. 77, plus my proficiency again, which is 80. And uh, a, what was that? A, well, how, this was nine. Uh, nine. I don't, that one wasn't in it. Nine, 15, 18. 23, 30, 37 of that is radiant damage. Okay, so it's 71 altogether, and 37 is radiant? 80 altogether. 80 80 altogether, altogether. I'm sorry. 
80 all together, and yeah, whatever I just said is okay. 30, 30. And you see this giant blast go towards him, and you see pieces of straw. And, uh, almost broke the record. Almost broke the record. <laughs> and Rodin is if going. Only we could have doubled that. <laughs> so Rodin is going to look at Strahd, and Strahd's going to look back at him, and he goes, and you see Misty Step, and you see Rodin, he's going to bamf down. This Rodin a little diff. Because you can only misty step where you can see. You can see down. Okay. <laughs> he just did through a wall earlier, and I was like, can't do that. He knows what to do. He's, he's, he's magic. I'm just saying. <laughs> he's magic. Um, And then, because Strahd does have a legendary action, he is going to put his hands out, and you see archaic kind of things form. And he's going to go, see you in a moment. And we're just going to... Okay. <laughs> when the DM laughs is all over. It yeah, is. it's never a good sign. <laughs> never a good sign. Never a good sign. Okay. There we go. I hate this. Because <laughs> we have no idea what's happening right no. now. We yes. just saw he, he did one of these. He's stirring the pot, and he, he said, see you later. Or see you Lost my train of thought. Hold on. Oh. Sorry. It's okay. So. I think that's not orchestrated. <laughs> okay. So the armor is still going to be there. Strahd is going to be here. How long does uh, Hex last for? Uh, until I fall unconscious. Okay, and what, or, what are the wait, other... Hexblade is... I, I think, think was, Hexblade's a minute. I think it was a minute. A minute? Okay, yeah. and what's the other... Uh, the uh, Valve the Enmity? Mm -hmm. uh, one minute, or until uh, I or it drops to zero HP. Okay, so I'm just going to put... I'm putting notes for myself. <laughs> uh, so you guys kind of blink, and uh, you start feeling these sharp pains across your body. Everyone takes about 20 slashing. Oh, God. As you look up and you see Strahd, he's in a new outfit. He looks fine. Even as far as I am? Even as far as you are. He used to time stop. Rufio's down, just so everybody knows. So you kind no, of... you're not. Death Ward. You have Death Ward. Oh, shit. So I, you I, pop you back up. You're, you're like... Clutch. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I you're like... This ah! all day. <laughs> uh, okay. So that's actually... <sighs> Okay, and you start, when you drop and you come back down, you start feeling the icy chill of the Raven Queen, and you hear the tolling as you your eyes kind of uh, get up from the Death Ward, and that sheen you see escapes and dissipates off of your skin as you, the Death Ward brings you back up. Yeah, yeah, And you see Strahd, and he smiles again. Told you, that was a very good hit. Oh. Now I want to see what they can do. Uh, it is now going to be Absidy's turn. Okay, so I'm get him. Hell yeah! So I'm gonna dismount uh, uh, from yeah. from one two or from okay. X Y Z. Oh, uh, R I P. I know. It's hard. It's hard. Bless down. Bless down for Husky that. boy. Um, so this is a large, right? Yeah. Okay, so he's currently a medium. I'm going to use my bonus action to give X Y Z my potion of Jed. Growth? Oh, oh shit. hell yeah. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. <laughs> you thought it was going to be for a dance. Let's dance. Nope, it's for death. <laughs> it's for death. So he's now a large and also gets an extra D4 of any attack damage yeah. he does. Let's do it. Um, so he's going to fight at that guy. At the skull? Yep. You know. Rufio's going to go, that's a big, scary dog. I love it. <laughs> And you're okay. technically would be within five feet of me. Are his attacks double? Oh yeah, I'm within. Yeah, I pack tactics. Yeah, but I mean, like, since he's double the size, is that increase? No, he's uh, just. It's just no, he gets D4. plus four. He gets a D4. Yeah. D4. I didn't know how it worked. So do it, baby, baby. Uh, kill him. Thirteen. Uh, thirteen will hit. Okay. Ooh, thank God. <laughs> Eight. So D4. Three. Three points? Three points. Okay. Points are points, my guy. Maggie. 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 
Uh, okay. So then, let's see, I used bonus action. I'm going to use uh, my attack to shoot. <clears throat> mm, yeah, I'll do both at the, the flame skull. Well, I'll do the first one at the flame skull. Uh, the purple one? Purple or blue? Uh, purple, yep. Okay. That is a 18. 18 will hit. Uh, five. Uh, five points? Yep. Cool. And you just... Poof, poof. What are you doing with the other one? Uh, if he's not down, I'm going to send it at him also. The purple oh, one. Okay. That is a 14. 14 will hit. Eight. Eight. Okay. Uh, minus eight. All right, cool. And uh, bonus action, mm -hmm. shove a potion down Rufio's throat. I appreciate that. Okay, cool. Gotcha, buddy. Uh, uh, 2d4 plus 2? Uh, I believe so. Let me find it. It should be 2d4 plus 2. Yep. Uga, 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 chaka. Okay, uh, other than that, are you done with your turn? Yes, now I'm done. Okay, so while he does that, uh, Shart, you're up. <clears throat> what? Should I go after him, or should I just swing on the armor? What should I do? We have to kill all of it anyway. Just keep attacking. Keep attacking Strahd, or keep just, attacking the just skulls? Just keep attacking. Then I will um, turn to the skull, which it's right next to me, and go ahead and swing an attack at it. Okay, go for it. Thank God. Not much better. Um, uh, 12. 12 does not hit. Okay, you second attack. <clears throat> you have inspiration. Yet, okay. um, that'll be 18. 18 will hit. And it's at blue? At blue, yeah. Okay. And just attacker. Perfect. Uh, that'll be uh, 20 points of damage. 20 points. Okay. Nice. Good hit. I'm waiting for inspiration. For and you see, like, the crack <laughs> as you see the archaic energy in the flame so. skull. Uh, Thok, you're up. Fuck my life. Um, <laughs> Poor Thok. He's doing his best. I am. I'm doing my best. What's the range on that? Yeah. I'm going to move a little bit closer. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> no. I'll go there. Um, as uh, my action, I'm going to do Sacred Flame on Strahd. Okay. So deck save. It's a deck save. 15. All right, let's see what his deck save is first. Natural 20. Oh. God damn it. Yeah, does, waste it for the deck save, baby. So it does, does nothing. Nope. Um, you see it, and it just sputters out as you're like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. That dark energy that you kind of draw from a, a cleric of Anubis, it just dissipates off of him. Fuck my life. Um, okay. And uh, I'm going to do... Uh, I can't. Okay, that's that's it. Okay. Um, let me see here. I just want to check one more thing. I forgot the fire damage from the bite. Mm. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Womp, womp. Pulling these bad boys out now, though. Yeah, make sure you don't forget it. Because it doesn't count now. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, okay. So. <sighs> but it lets me fill dead air. La la la. I'm you're, singing a you're song. You're not too bad. Uh, don't tell me what I am. Okay, you're right. <laughs> Cause you no know, Rufio's looking rough, you boys looking rough too. Bro, I started this fight at full. I have seven hit points left. I'm at eighteen. Well my max is only thirty six now. I've lost sixty four hit points in battle. I, I, mean, <laughs> I lost one two again. <laughs> so if we cannot oh, have it, buddy. If we, no, it was one two. One two died. If we cannot yeah, have it. I thought XYZ was your one friend. two was my boar. Oh. You never asked. Yeah. So that boar <laughs> yeah, that I lost, 
I now lost my hellhound that looks like a boar, who's a fucking idiot. <laughs> he's just a big old. All meat. the derpy ones did. I he know, was... and now I just got his femur. What a bummer. He's a fucking meatloaf. Um, bless down. Bless fucking down. All right, so Strahd is going to. And you see this arcane lightning start coming from his hands, and he goes, Are you, uh, resistance against lightning? Who is that to? Uh, the group. Yes. Totally. Then this won't hurt at all, and I need you all to make a, uh, deck saving throw. Oh, boy. I'll go in the tray. Still Ooh. gonna go down, but, you know, whatever. Nat 20. Oh, okay. Ooh. So you take half of this. Seventeen. Also seventeen. Eleven. Uh, what's your all of your max HP? Seventy-one. 70. Thirty-six. Yours is thirty-six. Yeah, Jesus you guys have beat, beat the fuck out of me, man. Okay, so oh, I guess it's sixty-six now. Did you get hit down and come back up? No. Okay, great. Uh, so you, it's it's a straight forty uh, lightning damage. Uh, and thought okay. you get twenty. Yes. As all this lightning kind of surges. 40? 40. 40. Relentless endurance. Okay, so before, I know you're going down. Yeah. Uh, Absy, where are you at? 16. Chart? 1, because of Relentless Endurance. And where are you at? 30. 30? Okay. Don't crack your neck. Okay, so (laughs) Chart, as you go down, you... And you start hearing the the night of that forest and you wake up and you're right in front of the cage and there is that fucking full orc you let me out I'll show you what we can do my brother's safe fine (sighs) and you ring the fucking cage open and the relentless endurance goes into you you pop up at one um Roll 2d12 for me. 13. 13. So that's how much you heal. So I'm up to 14. You're at 14, and your modifier is a 24 at the moment, and your strength is plus uh, 7. His his strength modifier is 24. Mm Mm-hmm. So I'm a plus 7 on strength, so now my hit DC is plus 11. Correct. So as you see Shark get up, you start seeing this kind of like red start creeping up his arms and his hands as you kind of get up and uh, I'm going to get you Orcish Fairy. You can go and swing on the uh, the armor or the flame skull if you want to. Okay. Um, I will... I, he right next to me, so I'm going to swing on the armor so I have advantage still. Um, okay, that's a 28. Uh, 28 to hit. 28 hits. Uh, seven plus, um, so that would change my damage modifier too, right? Correct. So seven plus, uh, eight is 15 plus another two is 17. So 17 points of damage? 17 points of damage. Okay. And And that's on the armor. On the armor. So you cleave into this thing and... You, you've seen that there's wear and tear. It looks like it took a big chunk of that uh, that hit first, and you just fucking massacre it. And you see the arcane property that have it literally shatter into the armor as the armor drops. And as you do that, you're, your eyes roll to the back of your head. You are just full or- orcish fury at the moment. Um, and that is going to be for... Okay. That's just for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are now actually at the top of the round. Go ahead and roll a death save for me, Rufio. 14. 14? Okay, so that's a success. Uh, it is now... It's not Rodden's turn. So it is... We're at Absidy. Okay. Uh, the... The wolf, the hound, is going to bite again. Okay, go ahead. Uh, six plus seven, so thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen will hit. Thirteen. Fire damage. Yep. <laughs> Please remember your fire damage. Uh, fifteen. 
15 F points of damage. 15, and you see just more cracks in this thing as it's hanging on by a fucking thread. Is it a, it's a flame skull, and it's... Is there a resistance or not? What do we see? It's for him. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? Okay, so... Yeah. Um... I can can I hit both of them, both of the flame skulls? Yes. With okay, so first I'll go for the blue one. Okay. With Eldridge Blast. I don't have. I'm too. I'm too far from you, right? Yes. Which square are you in? Yeah, you're too far you're from too me. Far. And uh, again, that's range. That's not uh, melee. Oh, it's attack. only melee. It's, it's only melee attack. That's right. You yeah. said that. Okay, so the first one mists, mm -hmm. misses. Do the second. Actually, it was, it was 11. Does that hit? 11 doesn't okay. hit. Okay, so 9 plus 7, 16. 16 will hit. Which one are you hitting, the purple one or the, the blue, blue one? one? Okay. Oh, it is 12. Uh, 12, you shatter it. So you can take that Which one, one off. Blue. Mm -hmm. blue. That one. Okay, anything else? Uh, bonus action, I'm going to shove a potion down. No, not you. Um... XYZ okay. throw. <laughs> I was like, no, okay. no, 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 no. Give it to XYZ. Uh, and See. cutting action, I'm going to do the same to myself. Or just oh. drink the potion myself. Okay. You nice shove. <laughs> <laughs> Bottle and all. So. It's habit, I'm sorry. <laughs> Open wide. Let's See, three, Eddie. two, so <clears throat> seven points, right? Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, anything else? That's it. All right. Sharp. I'm sprinting dead ahead of me. Okay, you just hear the the orc in your head. <laughs> Fucking. All right, uh, we can take this off too, by the way. Oh uh, yeah. Perfect. Go ahead, let's do it. Okay, so this is just a straight attack, not advantage or anything, but plus eleven. Uh, it's twenty-eight to hit. Twenty-eight will hit. Okay, and that's eight plus eight is sixteen plus two is eighteen points of damage. 18 for the first one? Yeah, for the first one. So okay. That, two damage. Second attack is 19 to hit. 19, that's a crit, right? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Nin modded, 19. modded 19. Okay, then, yeah, that'll hit. 19 that'll hit. hits. 19. Oh, he's not in armor. He's, not in he's, armor. Not, he's out of the armor. Ooh, all right. Um, That's 12 plus 8 is 20. 22 points of damage. 22 points of damage. Okay. Uh, Good. All right. And you just kind of start cleaving, and you just... <sighs> That Orcus Fury, he's like, oh, you've changed. Uh, Shut it! Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna roll over to Rufio. And I'm gonna put my hand on his chest. Mm -hmm. And pump into him a level 2 Cure Wounds. Okay. Which is auto max, because he's down as a Grave Cleric. That's 20 hit points. Goes straight to you. Okay. 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 And, uh... Uh... That's it. Fun mom shoulders. <laughs> okay. You fucking kill it. All right. Wait, hold on. Where am I? What You're right next You're to me. Fifteen twenty. I'm gonna go here. Yeah. That way, shards within thirty feet of me. Okay. That's it. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. It's a precaution. <sighs> so many things. So many things. So you're awake, my dude. I am awake, my dude. You're awake, my guy. So you're awake, just prone? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's gonna be Strahd's turn. He is going to... Let's see here. Level two, level two. All right, you start seeing some of the stuff start to piece back together. Of course. Why wouldn't it? He's a vampire. Um, vampire. A vampire. Boy. He's a zombie. He's a zombie. Uh, At the end of my turn. Oh, wait, no, that was his turn. Never mind. Uh, I want to use. I like this one. You see him? Nah, I don't like that one. I thought I liked it, but I didn't like it. Oh, okay. I have a lot of stuff going on. Um, so Quite a few No, things. no amount of uh, prep is good enough for this. Um, 
Not for us. Okay, he's going to go ahead and try to attack you with the sword. So we have... Uh, 16? That hits. Okay. Um, the second one is a 9. Doesn't hit. And the... 22. That hits. Okay, so I'll just roll all the damage for that. So you take 26 points of slashing, have halved, mm-hmm. and 12 points of necro. I'm down. Okay. So just put him in front of him. Okay. And then it's going to be this bad guy's turn. And uh, he is going to cast Fireball. Well, he's got one. So I need uh, one, two, Thok, and Absidy to all make uh, deck saves. What? What is this? The a fireball. Skull? Mm-hmm. Fireball. The skull. Um, the hound has immunity to fire damage. Okay, then yeah, your okay. fire's good. So what? What am I what rolling? I deck save. Deck, deck, deck save. save. I don't know why I was rolling. It's a fail. It's eleven. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. So you'll be able to make the save. So you take half. Uh, 19 points of fire damage. You're still up. You're still up, buddy. (laughs) (laughs) And then yours gets halved. All right, Rufio. uh, You're... Oh, you're up. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm weak. I think that's an... Is that an auto fail? Because you're on the ground? I'm behind cover. That's a wall, baby boy. Okay. Uh, So, Rufio, it's your turn. Sick. Um, I'm going to use half my movement to get up. Perfect. Then I'm going to Misty Step. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Here. And then I'm going to cast... uh, Because that's a bonus action. I'll use a pack for that. And then I'm going to throw two Eldritch Blasts at this motherfucker. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Natural 18. That'll hit. Natural 15. That'll hit. Okay. Those so two hit. I will just do that damage. <clears throat> That's 13 for the first blast. 6 for the second. 19 total for the first attack. Is he still up? Uh, No, he shattered. Great. I will... This one? Yep. Kindly oh. tell him to fuck right off. And then... I'm going to, with my second attack, uh, I have, I used half my movement to get up, so I have three moves, one, two, three, okay, uh, wait, one, I was here, yeah, that seems right, one, two, three. So there's five feet between Strahd and myself. Okay. And uh, I'm going to fuck him in the butthole. Um, Cast. No, I'm going to attack him with the scythe. Okay. And try and hit him and ask him if he missed me. Did you miss me, sweetheart? I don't think we're on a sweetheart pet name basis yet. It's a natural 18. Okay, that'll hit. I'm going to dump a level 2 smite into that as well. Go for it. So, 2d6, d4, oh, and three of these bad boys. That was a 6. That's upsetting. Now it's a 2. It's still a 2. Sienna. Okay, so, I have... Uh, 21, 26, 30, 33, 37, 40 points of damage. How much is Necro? 
Radiant. Three is Necro. Because he has oh, thing has Yeah, side. and 19 is Radiant. Okay, how much was it again altogether? Uh, 40. 40. Okay. Yeah, three, three is Necro. 19 is Radiant. That's fine. So you wail, and it just arcs off of him. And then I'll make a kissy face. Okay. So a moment is going to pass because it is now finally they are here. And behind you, Thok, clad in his armor. You see him without anything on him. You see him crack his knuckles. He goes, hi, Thok. And you see dirt behind you. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Everything looks very fucked. Is that Irina? Yeah. Okay, great. I'm not... I, I don't feel sick at all. Good. Great. Uh, he is going to cast... Uh, what does he got? What's he got? Mm-hmm. He's going to... I figured that was what the taunts were. Uh, b- 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 also, guys, I only got one rage left, too, so... And you're gonna Wait. see, um... Dirt, he is going to... <sighs> How much... Uh, he doesn't have that much movement. Uh, I'm gonna try to move him as far up as I can. Uh, I'll just say he's here for some time. Okay. He's gonna be by where Shard is. You're gonna see him, you know, crack his neck and he's gonna keep his, his arms loose and he's gonna be uh, ready. He's gonna hold a reaction. Um, and Shard's gonna go, oh, your pet's here. Um, Absidy, it's your turn. Okay. <clears throat> um, with with second story work, I'm going to take a running jump backwards in mm-hmm. a coordinated choreographed thing that XYZ and I've worked on. Okay. So I will run backwards, like jump off him and jump onto the wall. Make an acrobatics check. Uh, 14. 14. So you're able to, you kind of slip a little bit for nerves, but you stick on one foot and then the second foot kind of goes on. Okay. Nice. So I'm on the wall and I've used... Uh, Running jump doesn't take any extra climbing, so I've done 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 yep. mm-hmm. to be up elevated. Correct. Um, I will shoot two Eldridge Blasts at that guy. Strahd. Strahd. <laughs> that fucking guy? Yeah, that fucking <laughs> the guy. guy. Bitch this, head. This bitch. First one is a 16. 16 will hit. And the second is a lucky. Huh? <laughs> it's an 11. 11 does not hit. Okay. You tried. You tried. Yeah, I did try. <laughs> the second is a lucky. <laughs> That's not a number. So that will be eight points eight of points? damage. Okay, yep. cool. My hands are so sweaty. Yeah, uh, my hands are breathing. Bonus action and cunning action to... Yeah, to take potions. So I'm going to take two more. Okay. Um, glug, 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 mother yep. bitch. And... XYZ is going to run up. Take your potion of resistance. Of invulner- the invulnerability. Oh, yeah. One of those potions was actually invulnerability. <laughs> yeah. But only one is a health potion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fucking so I'm going to I'm gonna roll to see if his uh, co- his uh, fire thing recharged. Okay, go for it. Nope. It's okay. a two. So he will run up right here mm-hmm. and just go, well... I'm gonna come on this side and go chomp chomp. Go ahead and Pack chomp. Tactics. Him. Yeah, I was gonna say you have the movement, you might as well take it. Yep. Uh, that is, I think, a modded 20. Let me get his modifier real quick. Good no, job. It's not gonna hit. <laughs> yes. Yep, so modded 20, or that's what it is. You're in big, <laughs> you're in big trouble, mister. So that is a d8 and a d4. Come on, X, Y, Z. One, four, so that's five, plus three is eight, plus four is 12. So 12 points of damage, five of which are fire. Okay, 12. And you start seeing the the end of his cloak start to, like, singe a little, and he goes, that's my favorite cloak. 
Uh, Shart, I need you to roll a death save. Natural one. 16. 16? Okay, great. Uh, at the end of your turn, uh, Strahd is going to move. And he's going to use his ro- legendary action, so there are no attacks of opportunity against him. Fine, fuck you then. You bitch. Uh, give himself a little bit of distance. Uh, it is Thok's turn. It, oh, yeah, Thok. Okay. Three. Uh, I'm going to take 5, 10, 15, 20. Look at Furrier and say, uh, for my bonus action, say, take this and give him the potion of invulnerability. That Thanks. That gave me. Okay. For the rest of my movement, 25. I'm going to put both hands on Shart and... Pump. Pump a level three cure wounds. Okay. Healing him at 28 hit points. Um, and <gasps> you come back up. <clears throat> and just say, go get him and take one more step back for 30. Okay. And that's it. Okay. It is Strahd's turn. Um, Didn't Strahd just go? He uses legendary he action. Legendary, he legendary can move action it. can go out of, a, out of initiative, right? Yep. It can go whenever a player uses their turn at the end of their turn. So we are going to... <laughs> hey, HBIC. <laughs> you Fight me IRL, bitch. This is what you wanted. You're goddamn right. We're going to get Walter White. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is what you came for. What you came for. This is what you came for. Uh, do, 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 do. They call me Jose. <laughs> Where's Yeska? <laughs> and I'm Mark. <laughs> and I'm Mark. Okay. Uh, you see Strahd. He's going to start uh, drawing archaic symbols into the air. Uh, he is going to, in that specific area of dirt, Thok, and Shart, he's going to cast Ice Storm. I need all of you to make Ooh. deck saving throws. I don't know if Shark can make one being on the ground. He's prone, yeah. So I have advantage on deck saves that I can see. You're just prone. You're prone though. So you if don't I'm have prone, well, that's the thing to... is, if I'm prone, would I make? Would it be a straight roll? I think it was straight roll. That's more so what my clarification was. I'm not saying that I should still have advantage. Well, I mean, it's an auto crit, isn't it? Isn't it? An, I thought I figured with this it'd be an auto fail. Well, it's, yeah. I'll check. That's up to I mean, that's DM call. I'm just trying to, again, abide by rules. It's just the, if it was a, it doesn't say for prone saves. So I'm going to say it's at disadvantage. So to make it a straight roll. Uh, As you start, deck save. And then I got to make a deck save for dirt. It's not great. It's not bad. (laughs) This fucking kid. This fucking kid's the tits. I fucking love dirt. What'd you get? Oh, nine. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, And what'd you get? (laughs) Eleven. Okay, so you guys are gonna not do great. Oh shit! Cool, dead again. <laughs> we'll get there. You have it too. Uh-huh. Okay. What the death word? The no, less less oh. So yes. So regardless, no. I'm gonna go to one. So, let's see here. So we have. So first, it's eleven points of bludgeoning damage. Mike, don't do anything yet. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm totally sorry. Uh, 16. So what was the first number I gave you? 11. 11, and then 16 ice damage. So 27. 27. So you take the full 27. Shart. You see as this fucking ice storm comes to you, it hits your chest. And Rufio, you can see this. As Dirt's eyes kind of like light up, you see <laughs> as he takes the 27 hit points of damage. Dirt takes it instead? Mm-hmm. What he the fuck? He used his channel divinity. He was waiting. Oh, he did wait to take a reaction. He, he held his oh, reaction. Oh, you little bitch. Because he saw you on the floor. So, Dirt's going to be down the 27, and you're going to see as this scarlet kind of just comes out of his mouth as he spits it on the ground. Oh. Okay. And Strahd's going to smile, and then he's going to use his movement, and... uh. If you can move Strahd as close to Irina as possible, that'd be great. How, How many? Does he, have? he has 30. Oh, he gets there. And he's going to smile and... <sighs> we can start the process all over again. This didn't work this time, but... 
Next time. Next time it'll work. He already used his action. So, Rufio, you're up. Fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> I'm gonna turn to him. I'm gonna use my movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna look at him. And I'll go, no. We don't start the process again. It ends here. And I'll take this last lightning bolt that I have mm -hmm. and cast it at him. Okay, go ahead. Uh, it's a dex save of 15. Uh, 10, 11, 15, 18 points of lightning damage. 18. You see it, and it arcs over him, and you see it start to take hold, and he grits. And it's his hair gets a little bit frizzy. He smooths it, and he breathes out the smoke from the internal frying of whatever would have been inside of him. Oh, it's so unfortunate that that happened. You call dirt my pet again? I'm going to give him your head after I take it off your body. I don't want it. And I use a... Uh, my bonus action to Misty Step again. Okay. To get here. Mm hmm. And I'm going to take uh, a swing with the, the Reaper Scythe. Go for, for it. For my second attack. Misty Step's a bonus action? Yeah. Damn. Do, do me a favor. Uh, go ahead and roll a Wisdom Save. Before the attack? Mm hmm. Nope. What'd you get? Uh. Nine. You're going to hear in your head, swing, kid, as whore's head fills your, your head. Fuck yeah. Come on. Natural 18. Natural 18. That'll hit. Um, if you would like to dump a level five smite, you may. A level five smite? Holy fuck knuckles. I know what How I many said. D8s is that? Uh, so that's... Three, two is three. Oh, I'm not a paladin. Level two is three. He's so, so hard three right is now. Four. Four is five. Six. Six. six D eight. One, two, three. I would like to four, donate a D eight. Yeah, I'll toss I a have D8. But six. Let's but... all do it together. <laughs> okay. Let's all sing together. Together. Well, I mean, let's I, I sing a long. No, it's six. Okay. Sing four, six. With me. Yeah. Sing uh, okay. Should I? I don't. Should I just roll? Not roll the necrotic. Do we? I don't need to do that. No. He, the, the the necrotic is going to burn as this. Scythe slowly turns as you guys see this into this great sword of fire as horror shapes your your blade. Okay, so I will get that D4 then. Horror's just like <laughs> we doing this. By the way, when you get back up, you're back to your regular stats. Oh, I figured. Yep. It's a one shot, Charlie. I know, I, I assumed as much. Hmm. Uh okay. So Quick maths, go. 21, uh, 29, 31, 35, 38, 41, 44, uh, plus my proficiency, so 47, and then uh, 46, plus my proficiency again, 49. 49, and that's just the straight, and that's, that's with the radiant? That's with the radiant, yeah. The, uh, do you want me to tell you how much is radiant? Yeah. Uh, 21, 29, <laughs> 32, uh, 35 points of radiant damage. So you rolled so. the weapon like shit. <laughs> yeah, my, my weapon rolled poorly. But. So as it arcs and it shifts into this long sword, you cut into and it opens up Strahd's chest slightly. As what else you got? It uh, does. It And then as you pull it back, it does return and you're back to your, your normal nice. stat. Uh, that's all I got. I use lightning. I use the the reaper scythe. Yeah, yeah. Movement. Okay. yeah that's all I got. Absidy, you are up. Okay. I uh, need you to make a wisdom save. Seventeen. Seventeen. You hear in the back of your head because Lucifer is much stronger than you. He goes. If he kills her, it's not an act of love. She comes back over and over. If you kill her out of an act of love, you break that. And you as it dissipates from your head. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to see if it recharges for the hound. It's a four, so it doesn't. Okay. That's its kind of... Hmm? That's its, uh, its action to try to do the fire breath. You can move it. Oh, that's the action? Mm-hmm. Oh, then I thought... Okay. I thought that was something that happened at the beginning. Maybe. So then, no. Five, ten, fifteen. It, it's fifty, so it makes it to here. Um, oh, I totally skipped dirt. Fuck. We'll go after you. You're okay. Good. So he's fifty. So I think it's forty-five. Oh no, 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 I was looking for something else. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Just cleric stuff. <laughs> so he's gonna bite. Um, Strahd. Okay. Fire damage. Fire damage. Fire damage. Fuck him up. Wait, fuck him up, where fuck where, him up. where are you, Rufio? You're in this I'm, one. Ten I'm feet away. Ten feet away. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna do that. So pack tactics. We are friends. Friends. So that would be friends. 21, 22. Okay, 22 to hit? or Yeah, da- yeah 22, 22 to hit. hit. That is 6 five, plus 5 is 11, plus 3 is 14, so 14 points of damage. 14, okay. Very palpable. Okay. Um, minus 14, and then what are you going to do? Where are you at? Do I... Does it look like Strahd is going to kill her now? He's kind of preoccupied at the moment. We on him. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to drop down. Um, I figure I'm about 10 feet up. Yeah. So is how much of my movement would that be? Uh, it wouldn't be any movement. I'll just do a d6 for the... Because you're dropping down. Well, I'll, I'll just run down then. Okay. Then... Um, so the 10 feet. It'll be the 10 feet to run down. Okay. So 10 feet and then I have 15. Yep. One, two, three, dash. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I drink another potion, mm-hmm. and just I I dissonant whisper again at Strahd. Okay, go. It's a wisdom save. Wisdom save of fifteen. Okay. Um, I'm looking at his wisdom. Uh, he's gonna succeed it. Okay, go ahead. Two, three, and four. So that's nine points of damage. Nine, as you hear. What are you gonna tell him? <laughs> the same. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And you just see <laughs> that cruel smile as his very kept hair is all messy and shit from all the battle. Um, It is gonna be Dirt's turn. And Thok, you see this as Dirt starts charging forward. He kind of pops out. He, pops he misty out. steps? No. You just see him envelop like he just shifts into a, a light and actually pop him behind Strahd. Behind? Yep. What the fuck is going on? Jesus. <laughs> Dirt. And you see his eyes kind of like light up with this holy radiant energy as he kind of comes down. And as his arm is moving, you start seeing the hilt of this blade come up and it starts having this beam of energy. And you, all of you hear this as uh, this very soft feminine voice is strikes true. As he comes down with the uh, sun sword. I got chills. I legitimately got goosebumps right now. Okay. See that, right? And he is going to dump <laughs> a level two smite into it. Oh, get him. Okay. And you see a big hit as you see a part of his shoulder just starts dislocating as he comes down. And he goes, this was your brother's blade, right? He told me all about you, Strahd. And it's going to be uh, Shard's turn. I guess I'll use half my movement to get up. So I have 20 feet of movement left. I'm going to rage again for the last time. Um, and, uh, I have one hand axe left, so. Okay. I'm gonna take a, take a stroll in the park. Um, that is plus five. That is a modded 20. Uh, I mean, that'll hit. And so this is gonna be one, two, six, plus seven. So ten points of damage. And you see it just smack into his chest and, ah. Uh, uh, Thok, you're up. Just out of curiosity, how does Irina look? Like, she's unconscious? She's like- unconscious, and you see that, like, the color from her cheeks are very pale. Um, 
actually at the end of your turn chart. I'm going to have Strahd start to slightly move, and you're going to see his body start to kind of corporeally into this mist form. It's going to slowly start to go. So as you're looking... Okay. Um, I'm just going to yell out, use the stakes. They paralyze him. A stake in the heart. And as my action, I'm going to take my hand mm -hmm. and point at Irina and cast Banishment on her. Okay. And banish her to another plane for a minute. Okay. She has to do a charisma save, but I figured if she's unconscious... She's out. So you can pop her out. So I'm popping her out. As far as they know, she is gone for the next 10... Well, they don't know for how long, but... Yeah, she it's is the next minute. Banished. She, 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 she gone. She gone. She gone. And Strahd um, goes, what did you do? And I just smile. You smile. And as you do that, I need you to make a wisdom save. Man, I don't have wisdom. <laughs> 21. 21? Yep. You, um... You kind of feel it as this narcotic energy starts wisping over your arms and your forearms, and you hear in the back of your head, On my mark, wait, and you tell me what to do. Let me fix this mess. So, you can wait. Strahd is going to try to dip. Uh, he is going to start turning into a, a mist cloud. Um, I'm actually going to, yeah. If you want to call upon Anubis, you can. Yeah. What do you uh, want him to do? Now. What do you want him to do? You get divine intervention. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. God, uh... And it's... Don't let him leave. Keep him here. Okay. And as you see him start to uh, step, you see come out from Ravenloft this giant skeletal hand and this other giant skeletal hand. And you see these different p bracers of gold and uh, different scarabs over it. These are the, the hands of Anubis and death itself as it contains this ball of mist. And it you see him swirl and swirl about as Strahd... Ksh, gets hit right back down as this fucking hand crushes and you see it missed by uh, Rufio you're up so we'll put Strahd put him about uh, right in front of Shark is he prone or is he just there he's he's prone he's prone mm -hmm. so all attacks on him are auto crit unless it's the end of no, his turn and he moves he's paralyzed. prone I does not mean auto crit Prone, if you are attacking, ranged is at disadvantage, melee is at advantage. Correct. Okay. Melee is at disadvantage? No, melee is at advantage, ranged is disadvantage. Well, uh, what? so you can hit is... the ground. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So then what I will do, because when I'm two-handing it, I'm at a ranged, or no, my range is 10 feet. It's still a melee attack though, right? Yes. When I'm in this position, mm -hmm. so I have advantage on this. Yes. I will attack dose times with the Reaper Scythe. That is a 13. 13 won't hit. Will not hit? Mm -mm. Okay, that's still it's only the first roll. Natural 15 for the first attack. Uh, Yeah, that'll hit. Okay. And then natural 12. 12 plus what? Uh, 7, so 19. Okay. And then I'm not going to take that one. Those so both, both hit. Yep. I am out of second level spell slots, so I'm going to use two level one smites. Okay. Uh, but if he is fiend or undead, I get a bonus d8, which I didn't know until I looked at my... He is undead. So I get, I still get to do three. I should have been doing four. Correct. I'm a dummy, but it's fine. That's okay. It's, it's played out really fun. <laughs> uh, can you do two at the same time? Yeah, it's, it's on an attack. Huh. I can add, I can smite. Well, I just didn't... Oh, that's right. It's smite for each one. Now I get it. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, that's so much better. Uh, oh, okay. Jesus wants him to die. Um, so, first attack is 10, 15, 26, 30. Mm -hmm. uh, 33. 36. 39 points of damage. Damage. Okay, 39 for the first? Yes. Okay, give me the second. Uh, okay. That almost maxed everything. That was kind of wow. crazy. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, let me roll that. That's way better. Let me roll that. 
That's worse. Uh, 18, 19, 24, 29, 36, 36 points for the second. Patrick, how do you want to do this? <laughs> Oh my god, I've been dreaming of this moment. Um, it had to be you. <laughs> so, what I want to do... It would be him. ...is, as he's getting up on one hand, yeah. I <sighs> want Rufio to jump, and he's gotten to use the scythe, and he's gotten used to it, and he kind of swings the chain under his arm, uh -huh. where the scythe decapitates him. Okay. And then he wants to wrap it around so that the ball end goes and smacks his head, and I want it to just hit any pointy object in the general vicinity of the room. <laughs> like Mortal Kombat. Like... <laughs> yeah, the, the, the scythe takes the head off, the ball end comes back around, hits the head, and then hits a pointy object in the room. As Don't you care do which so, one. you wrap, and all of you are around this body as you, he pulls it tight. And Strahd goes, I am land. I'm the Eternal. I will be back. I'll... And you see dust. Okay. And oh. after a minute, Rufio... Ah! And everyone just kind of... You drop to your feet. Your legs feel like fucking jelly. And after a minute, Irina's body is back onto where she, the altar. Yep. Where dirt kind of goes over to her. She's stable. We we saved her. We did it. Huh. I don't know. I need to sit down. And it's still dirt. He's just gonna throw up behind the altar. <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna run up to him, throw up and all, just like start picking him up and spit it Oh around. god! <laughs> oh dumb my ribs. You're so great! I love everything oh, I've taught you. My it's god. obviously me. Oh, it's only you. <laughs> Justin, do you yeah. want me to turn the camera off? You can. Guys, I don't know if we could celebrate too hard. We don't know if there's still anything else in here. I mean, uh, we killed Strahd. I think that deserves a little celebration. <laughs> I'll use a, uh, I'll cast a divine sense to okay. see if there's anything. Uh, as an action, I can detect good evil until the end of my next turn, sensing anything affected by the Hallow Spell or another location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet that is not behind total cover. Okay, you get the, the fiend blip from then. Uh, you get an undead blip, but you you aren't getting swarms. Yeah. Is it... Uh, do we know what happened to Rahadin? That's he what just kind of bamfed out of here. I'm going to put all 24 lay on hands I have into myself and okay. just kind of stand at the ready uh, waiting for anything so take a health potion. a moment passes you feel that rumble again that you felt at that east hallway above you you hear another and another and slowly but surely you see these this giant red scaled face fire in its eyes as this ancient dragon steps down, and on the back of it, you see Rictavio. Am I late? Fucking hell! <laughs> I hate you so much. You Just all the way. You killed my other one. I didn't need to... I'm gonna fucking retire. And you see the magic dispel as... He just kind of steps down. Do you know how long it took me to make that? Too long. Yeah. Yeah. Too long. I'm just going to grab his face and just push him. Yep. You did it. He's dead. I mean, is he? I mean, he doesn't, have, the... he, doesn't, he doesn't have a head anymore, so. You destroyed the sarcophagus, right? Yeah. Casimir did. We think so. Well, we should probably check, no? No, uh, that's it. I would say that's safe. Can you see him and kind of stretches out to the catacombs? To the catacombs. To the catacombs. On the way down, I'm going to push the thing and I'm going to uh, call out for Esmeralda and see if she responds. You're going to get a blip back. Yeah, I'm a little fucked up. I'm still here. It, It's done. We, we beat him. For now. And with that, 
Uh, Dirt's gonna look at you, Absidy. He's gonna look at Irina. Why don't you stay here? I'll let you know if anything happens. In case he comes back. Okay. And then, to make sure, because he doesn't have his necklace, mm -hmm. I give him mine. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, so, the five of you start going down, and you see all this carnage. Uh, let's see who made it. As we're walking, I want to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. No, Just in case. Point. Oh, wow. You were down to one? Yeah, yeah, I right. Relentless endurance. endurance. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Eight. 11, 12. I'll also toss you a healing potion if you want it. I have one. I just was saving it just in case I went down. I have three left. Okay. So then I'll, I'll take that one, too. Uh, as you go through, you see um, the corpse of... Um, not the corpse. You see the banged up dismemberment of Valian's stringing arm. As you're... As Valiant is panting heavy, one eye shut. <sighs> did you do it? Yeah. We did it. <sighs> Good. And you just see this fucking stub that he's kind of like holding on. And you see him cast cure wounds as he scabs over this thing. <clears throat> see if I can get a new one of that. <sighs> Please. I'm gonna nap now. <laughs> and you see Valiant's, the back of Valiant's head kind of smack. Uh, you start going down to the catacombs. It's more like this. Uh, you see more berserkers kind of ripped apart. Uh, different werewolves uh, dismembered. And you, of course you see the other vampire spawn. You see piles of ash and bone. Just the smell of copper just fills your uh, your nose as you start going down to where the the catacombs is now you do have your balcony where the torture pit is and then you have moving forward to where the rest of the um the the catacombs are so it's uh, it's up to you guys where you want to go if you want to go to where the observatory is or if you want to keep going down to the catacombs uh should we check the catacombs first. I feel like that takes some priority. You go ahead. I need to take a look at the torture room. Shart. We I'd... go everywhere together right now. None of us are even close to full strength. We can't be wandering off. I have to check my brother. Shart. You know that. Shart. It's gonna take a fucking minute. Just listen for once in your life. It's gonna go in front. I'm gonna go with him. You go to the catacombs. I'll nod to dirt and we'll... I'll take Thok and I to the catacombs. Okay. And you kind of pound your chest. And so we'll we'll follow um, Shart and Dirt as you guys kind of go over to the um, the velvet curtains. You kind of see the entryway. You just see fucking ripped apart. You you see Tybalt's body splayed open. Cheskov is kind of unconscious. It looks like his body's breathing, but his head is up. He's not face down in the water, but... He's there. You still see clinged onto him is the the necklace. Um, you see more and more, and you see uh, his legs kind of ripped apart. Is uh, gray, kind of like on the altar where Vin is, and uh, a few feet uh, apart, you see with m axes and slashes just turned into hamburger. What you would expect to be Rahadin. And as you you can roll investigation to see how Vin is. Seventeen. Seventeen. His breathing's very labored. You see that one of his uh, arms is broken. You do see that there is blood around, so it does look like there was a fight. And as you kind of, like, you step down and you wade through this water and Dirk kind of waits at the balcony, you see Gray, and he's lost a lot of blood. His yeah. He's um, kind of... The color is leaving his cheeks, and he's fixating, and he's like... <sighs> I tried to keep everyone up as long as I could. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm no. Fucking great. Yeah, uh, this I, sucks. Dying again. Great. And then I want to run over to him and I give him one of my potions. 
and he takes it and you see the below the knee and the the legs start to scar up and scab up. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna be Peggy too, great. And as you kinda go over, you go over to the labored breathing of Vin. And he's not doing so hot. His eyes are rolled into the back of his head. He has the the foam of that dehydrated mouth. <sighs> and I cast speak with animals and I take the last potion that I have and I'm like Ben, I need you to hang on. I need you to hang on. You put it in and Okay, it looks like it starts to take care of some of the mending, but he's he's very far gone. His his bones won't set right with the potion. And he's still you can still speak to him, but it looks like he's still in an incredible amount of pain. I tried so hard to get you back. I can't have you leave me now. And you you see the eye kind of roll over and it makes eye contact with you as you hold him in your lap. And you kind of see like a... He knows you're here with him. And you see his eyes slowly close as one tear kind of passes as Vin passes in your arms. And you feel that energy, that warmth, that your heart didn't feel whole. It was halved. And you feel that swelling as Vin has joined Paul and you're complete again. Not the way you wanted to, but... Dirt's kind of over the balcony. And we'll move on to a minute. So going down to the catacombs. You see this more of this carnage. You see the red shirts. You see uh, one of uh, Piotr's legs is just ripped. And he's kind of managed to take his robe and he's kind of trying to shunt the bleeding from his leg. And Piotr goes... uh, I don't think my run. I think my running career might be over. I waited with him as long as he c- I could. He ran up. There were too many trying to get into the esophagus. And as you push forward towards the tomb, you see shattered and bits of onyx, and you see Casimir's body a, a husk, as you see Petrina's body is also a husk of just in front of her brother. And it looks like there is multiple scorch marks around as they destroyed the coffin. The I want... Do you have any way that we can give them a proper burial? I don't want to bury them here. They don't deserve that. But I want to bury them together. I can do it tomorrow. I can't do it today. But then I'll throw both of them up on my shoulders, the the husks, Mm -hmm. and I'll I will carry them. Okay. You start to carry them, and then Dirt is gonna kind of plop down, and he's gonna sit with you, and he's just gonna put his hand on the top of your head as you're with Finn. Uh, We'll go to you, Avzi. Avzi, you're with. With Irina, she's she's still unstable. It's not, or she's not unstable. She's knocked out. We don't know how long it's going to be. And as you're sitting there with her, this spectral body kind of forms or next to the altar, and it's this very handsome, similar features to Strahd. His hair is short, and it's kind of spiked out, faded, and he's wearing this white kind of armor that coincides with um, with Strahd's like a polar opposite and he sits and he goes she's beautiful isn't she the most beautiful woman I've ever seen and he smiles I miss her She comes in fleeting moments, but she's always ripped back from him. He always says it's an act of love, but there is no love in that man's heart. And you see this this man's hand pass through. You're Sergei. 
I am. How many times has she been brought back? He's been alive for centuries. He's been like this for centuries. It's a very long time. A lot. A lot. And every time she throws herself off the balcony, or she grows old and comes back, or he kills her. But he's dead now. And you see Sir and he looks. He is the land. He is the land. I pull out my dagger. And slowly, very labored steps, I move toward Irina. Mm Mm-hmm. And she's still out. And I walk up. And I kind of hop onto her knees. Mm-hmm. She's slumped in the chair. And I put my head to hers. Just for a moment. I tell the hound to go away. Mm-hmm. And I just, I whisper, I love you. As I plunge the dagger into her neck it's swift and it's quick and you feel the sigh and you hear in your head that was an act of love I turn and I just walk and Sergei's gone as you walk out the next few hours is just convening and bringing the dead Uh, people who have made it are Cheskov Vasaya Ismark is fucked up um, Erwin did not make it. Um, Servash and Agira, the two townies, did not make it. Um, Petrina did not make it. Piotr's Valiant. Kidian made it. Sir Godfrey, you see the remains of the revenant Sir Godfrey as Estrad has died. The last of that archaic, keeping him alive, is gone. Um, so you have the werewolves. Uh, minus double. Uh, Trev is alive. <laughs> uh, Ismark, Gray, uh, Valian, Piotr, Kirian. Esmeralda. Esmeralda. So as you slowly all go out, you see for the first time in Barovia, out in the distance, the sun cresting over the mountains, and all the clouds and the fog on the countryside dissipating as the sun slowly sets up. And on this balcony. No, no. You guys talk first. Are We're all outside now? I would say you're all outside. And um, I just want to toss in there that um, I would assume dirt would help bring Grey out. 100%. And I'm, I'm literally carrying Finn on my shoulders because he's not dying in there. It's not where I'm leaving him. So you all kind of convene in the entrance of Ravenloft. What now? Where's Irina? She didn't make it. I'm real sorry to hear that. Uh-huh. And and I nod. Hopefully now she can be at rest. Finally. My grip on my dagger still tightens. Mm-hmm. It's still in my hand. And I I twist it toward myself. And for a moment I think about stabbing. But I don't do it. And I just I stay silent. What if you guys gonna uh, walk over to Absidy and you guys have never seen he's never done this before but he's gonna get down to Absidy's level not trying to meet his gaze or anything and he's just gonna bring him in and give him a hug 
and just hold him for a minute. And a tear from each eye falls as he's still holding a, a, a grimacing face of anger. That unblinking stare. That unblinking stare. Thinking of everything he did to get to this point. And he still says nothing. As you do that, you slowly dirt kind of follows suit. And he puts his arms around. And you kind of, the three of you are there. And uh, after a few moments, you kind of let go. And his mark, his eyes gash down. He has one eye now. All right. So what's next? Tomorrow we take care of the ones we lost, and who, who rules over this land now? I don't. I don't know. How do we go home? I don't know. Um, I think you made a promise as to who rules over this land now. We blew up her her cart. We owe her a house. We do. It's an upgrade, ish. <laughs> After a little cleaning, a little polishing. Um, Esmeralda's gonna go. I'm what? As you guys are kind of convening, Ismark kind of lumbers, because as he came up, it was the what now? He doesn't quite know. It looks at you, Absidy, and you have that thousand yard stare, and he instantly knows something's wrong. So he kind of hobbles and he goes can we have a moment and I nod and tell everyone to go away okay. Yep. so as you sit there and he's kind of to his knees is she safe she's safe she's safe from Strahd is she alive and I can't bring myself to say it. And I just look down. And he smacks. He's not. It's so weak. And he's just. It's just you see tears fill. And as you do. Uh, on this balcony. Thick clouds start filling the sky. With you and his mark. And this chilly morning list, mist. As the sun is coming up. Of Barovia is. And you see the land of Barovia is finally visible below. And there's peace here. Rest has come to the valley for the first time anyone can remember. And a light flashes behind the two of you. And wheeling around, you see a, you see Sergei, being of flesh and blood, shining armor, flapping cape, white. He shows great will and strength, yet the forcefulness of his presence is tempered by his calm and sad eyes. His features are those of Strahd, of course, but yet subtly different. And he goes, I am Sergei Von Zarevich. And this is Tatiana. And you see the corporeal form of Irina. My love, my wife. Thank you. Finally, she is at rest. And he stretches forth his hand. And you see Irina's form fit in front of you. And before it takes Sergei's hand, Sergei. And you see this state of recognition come over. She sees the two of you, know, and she she kneels down. My voice. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She goes, "Don't be sorry. Don't blush. Don't be sorry, my love." That city. You've helped me. I remember everything now as Tatiana. It's all my past lives. Your love saved me. I love you, Absolutely in Longshire. With all my heart. And then it was all worth it. it was... And I just kind of and she, the you, dagger on the ground you kind of see like her hand and it's incorporeal and you just feel the warmth of flesh and blood very briefly as she do not beat yourself up 
She looks at Ismark. You'd be nice to him. You go on. You move forward. You love again. You take all the time you need to heal your heart. And know that I am with you. And as she says that, I just... Absidy just begins to bawl. Mm -hmm. And she cradles. And she takes... You take all the time you need before you calm down. <laughs> and your chef's teething. She goes, I have to go now. Go to that quiet place where we danced. I'll be waiting for you. And she kisses the top of your head. And she whispers something to Ismark and he's just, he loses it. And he turns around to Sergei and Sergei has his hand outstretched. I have a lot to catch you up on. And as you see them exit the balcony, in a flash, they're gone. Okay. So, with that, with the next kind of few hours, are you going to be staying all into the castle? Or are we going back to Kresik? What are we doing? I want to loot the castle. <laughs> I want to long rest in the castle. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um... I don't want to loot the castle. Whatever's in it, I don't. I don't want anything to remind me of this fucking shit. That's fair. Um, I, I think if we can call to Steve and he can take us to Kresik, mm -hmm. and he can pop a, like bamf us over there, yeah, uh, and he can like bring our dead too, so we can yep. dig graves. The minute whatnot. you think of it, you you feel the fresh air. Uh, you're very you're miles away months away from Ravenloft and you're already back at Krizik. The um the complex is just it's an open field. The complex is gone at the moment. It's just pastures. And at the very end is just a little lemonade stand that says wizard on it and Steve sits behind it. And I'll I'll nod to him and I'll think about a shovel. And it's already in your hand. I'll start digging. I'm gonna. I want to physically dig graves for uh, Casimir and Petrina. As you do that, Dirt's next to you, and he starts to dig as well. Same. So it takes a few hours as all of you dig. You put your dead in. I'm Come. not assisting with that. Okay. I, um, I want to be off mm -hmm. digging my own grave. Okay. I have summoned the hound too to help me dig okay. and I'm digging it as deep as I can because six feet's not enough okay so as Absidy does that it takes a, a little bit and you're able to dig most of it um, it's very quiet and somber um, we'll stick with Absidy what are we doing um, my hound is just digging Okay. And I'm just standing, contemplating, trying to get to the mental place where we danced. Okay. Takes you a little bit. Go ahead and make a wisdom save. See if you can get to that happy place. That 20. You, you feel the warm embrace. It's a smile kind of creeps. Um, you guys can, what are you doing, Chart? I, um, I took Vin's body to the woods. Okay. And I just wanted to lay in a tree, lay on a tree that reminds me the most of our woods. Mm hmm And just rest with his head on my chest. You take your time and you sit with him. And you take all the time you need. Um, Thok, Dirt, Rufio. Um, you two can, can roll perception checks if you'd like. Perception? Mm-hmm. Classic Rufio? Natural one. <laughs> Natural one? Fifteen. Fifteen. Dirt's kind of... You, you notice that Shart and Absidy are gone. They kind of went on their own thing. Who? I don't question it because of everything that's happened. And then Dirt kind of looks around a little helpless. Kind of does that. Uh, can I have the D2? Awesome. Uh, 
also, I just um, want to toss a note there. That, Please. Um, shards balling. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> shards balling. Shards balling is Izo. Okay. So, um... Time passes, Rufio. You're you're digging more graves, and Esmeralda's with you. And she goes, "We knew there would be casualties." Ah, sorry. We knew there would be casualties. Yeah, a lot more than I had anticipated, but we knew. Okay. Um, Absy, we'll get back to you. What are we doing? Uh, at this point, the the grave has been dug, mm-hmm. say thirty feet. Okay. Um, and I recall my hound. Sure. And when I killed her, I took a part of her. Was she wearing clothing or armor? What was I would she say wearing? she she was in a, a dress. Okay. I had taken a piece of her dress. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, about a foot. And I take one two's bone, and I wrap it. Mm-hmm. I take the holy symbol, and I wrap it around. Okay. And uh, I take two of the three stakes that I have, mm-hmm. um, and just place it next to it. Okay. Drop it inside. Mm-hmm. And uh, I would also have a smaller shovel. Okay. I would have a shovel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I begin feeling the dirt. Okay. One scoop at a time. One scoop at a time, and you feel this way on you. Over. Went a lot different than I thought it would. Uh, and Shart, while you're you're bawling, Dirt finds you. And he's out of his armor. And uh, kind of sits next to you across from, from Vin. He was very big. Now you understand why I was the runt. Sorry, you see me like this. It's okay. And he kind of puts his hand on on your forearm as you kind of pet Vin, and you guys kind of sit together, and you said you go to a happy place where you see Paul. I do. You think Vin might be there? Really hope so. And I just lose it further. Okay. Okay. Um, Tears right now. It's it's cool. Okay. So as the day kind of ends and the night kind of comes, you all, I would hope, eventually reconvene. I don't know what you're doing the rest of your time. I uh want to try to have that moment. Until I have that moment. You're when I do, that. then I will bury him. Okay, so it takes a few hours. After about hour three, Dirt's going to leave. And I need you to make a wisdom check at disadvantage. Six. So you go to that place, and you are in front of the cage, and the cage is locked again. (sighs) I showed you what we can do. Release me further, and we will be unstoppable. I want to. I really do. But I can't. As he does that, you see to the right of you, Paul. He goes, it's true. He already has a pack. And to your left, you see Ben. Like he was, shining. Coat, both ears. And he goes, we're always with him. And he's found his new pack. Doesn't need you. Thanks for the assist. And you see Vin kind of bashes, nods your head. And you see Paul kind of turn as you guys turn away from this forest. And you just put your pelt as you two, the three of you, start walking out into your clearing. And Paul goes... I must say, Runt, you did a lot of damage. And Vin goes, I didn't get to see most of it, but Paul tells me you really (laughs) did a lot. I mean, 
All those years of you guys fucking me up, I learned a couple things. I would hope so at this point. <laughs> family. Family. And then puts his head to yours, and he goes, Family. And you, after about hour five, you... And you see part of your, where it had Paul's fur, you see entwined with it is Vin's, of his darker fur to Paul's lighter. And now I'll, uh, I'm not crying anymore. And I, I dig. Okay. It takes a few hours and you're able to make a nice, a nice area for, for Paul, or Vin's. Yeah. And you take one last look. And you nod. So, uh, it's it's nighttime. You all kind of convene around this campfire. Thok, Absidy, Shark, Dart, Rufio. Was this the next day after the fight with mm -hmm. Strahd? So, the, the fight with Strahd ended in the morning. So now it's that same day. Excuse me, it's starting to become night. The like evening. The evening. Early it's starting evening, to... Yeah. The twilight and... All the Barovians, everything you've heard of is, I don't think I've ever seen the sun before, and the werewolves are like, is it always that bright? Things to that nature, it's this bright sun. Throughout, leading up to this, please. Um, throughout the day, as we're doing graves and stuff, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to, in each one, ritually cast um, ceremony. Okay. And do funeral rites, just for flair. Um, okay. And obviously give them each their rights, and with the little spell slots that I have, as much as I can, on them, I'm going to use stone shape okay. to make them at least look like the person, like mm -hmm. a slab of whoever's buried in. Okay. Like it takes laying you laying down. It takes you some time, and you expel, exhaust everything of yours, but you're able to make a little slab for everyone who's perished. That was... Mm -hmm. Well, I, uh... I asked you guys, I asked you, where do we go from here? What's next? Well... I don't know if you guys noticed, but frankly, I don't have a home anymore. You are my home. If you guys need anyone to travel with, I am more than willing. The question arises, they're kind of staring at the, the, the fire. Do we go home or stay in Barovia? My question is, is my home your home? I don't... I can't stay in Barovia, and I don't know what that means for me right now. But I need to get home. I just... Something's going on, and I need to be ready for what comes next. Where am I? Uh, out of game, what am I, where am I from now? I know it You're was from uh, Valoria. Okay. If my childhood home is in a good enough shape, there's room for all of you. Do you happen to know how far away that home is from Locke? Uh, we talked about it. It was, it wasn't like super duper close, but it was, it's, it's fairly like, far, but that can be a good center ridge point for everyone. Yeah. Uh, what'd you say? Like two months travel? It'd be about, about two months travel from there to lock. All things considered. If you'd have me, I'd like to. We've been through enough. Why not a little bit more? <laughs> it's, 
listening. If you'll have me, I'll, I'll follow. I don't want to stay here. <laughs> well, your parents are there too, so you yeah. ever, you ever want to get out of the house? Oh, we'll give you all the candy you want, buddy. That's uh, you know, candy sounds great, but you know, I've seen some shit, man. <laughs> and I'll turn and look at Absidy. What about you, Absidy Longshire? I look up. And I look at each person's face. And I go back to Rufio. And without saying anything, I just nod. So, uh... What do we do? We ask Wizard Steve to, like, what? Cover. Yeah. I have something I need to take care of first. Same. Okay. Uh, let's meet back here. Dawn, first son, be here and we'll go together. Let's do it. Yeah. Guys, we brought the son back. I don't know what our goofy name was again, but with that thing. It's fine, we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> we'll come up with a new name. Yeah, we will. And each one of you, there's a little trap door and it's underground to the bunker and the bunker is now outfitted to be a lot less war heavy and it's a lot more accommodating. It's a little bit more what you're used to. It's less futuristic and it's more humble as you all have your respective rooms. Is Esmeralda in mine? Esmeralda is in yours. Is there hamburger helper in mine? <laughs> there are boxes. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Need a stove. Uh, I can cook with these hands. You can add three boxes of hamburger helper to your inventory <laughs> yes. if you'd like. You can take them on to the next adventure. Um, Thok, yours is... Everything is a lot more, a lot, lot, lot more humble. Uh, Absy, yours is as comfortable as Wizard Steve is going to try to make it. So there's no, there's candlelight, you know, your bed is there. There's a bed roll. Doesn't quite know what you want to do. Uh, and yeah, Rufio, Esmeralda's on the, the foot of your bed. She's kind of sitting and she has her rapier into the, the floor and she's just kind of like twirling and spinning it. Hi. Huh. So I didn't die. No, you didn't. You told me not to. I did. Um. Not to be blunt, but. Will you come with me to Valoria? And she kind of smiles. I think you kind of know the answer to that. My hope is yes. I know what your hope is and mine is. And they are the same. They are. However. Nope, just stop. <laughs> and she kind of smiles. He's gonna come back. Did you see what I did to his head? I'm pretty sure he's... <laughs> And we have to keep these people ready and armed and we have a new Barovia right underground. Come visit sometimes. Let's see what Steve has cooked up. So I'll just just stay with me. And she kind of puts her hand out and you kind of grab it as you two sit next to each other and we'll kind of push out uh anything you're doing in your room talk so this is nighttime mm -hmm. i am going to try to uh go back out to the grave mm -hmm. and go kind of like in a back tucked in quarter mm -hmm. where i had stone shaped like a statue of anubis okay and I'm going to close my eyes yeah. and pray to him and say, I know what you needed me 
and what you needed out of me. But I have grown close to these people. They have taught me how to love again, how to care for people as a family again. I never asked you to bring me back, and I never asked to be your champion. If you want the throne, you can get it yourself. And I tear my holy symbol out. Yo, okay. And I put it underground, bury it, use stone shape to kind of seal it mm -hmm. and close it off. Okay. And as the sun is setting, I'm going to change myself, my disguise self, mm -hmm. to my old self. To your old self. Including the symbol of Pelor on my armor. Okay. And look into the sunset. And, I mean, if he wants to talk back, he can. But I'm going to... You kind of feel that energy that kind of kept you together as your breathing gets a little labored. And you kind of put your head to the ground. Um, we'll get to you. Okay. Okay. Anything else we're doing during the evening? Uh, I'm assuming after... Uh, we have a vigorous lovemaking session. Uh, <laughs> <Gross>. <laughs> um, I try and reach out to Hor and just thank him and and let him know that I'm going to continue to spread the word of Hor. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he doesn't need to talk to me. He doesn't need to do any of that stuff. And to the Raven Queen... I'll send out, knowing that it's hard for her to hear me or contact me. I'll let her know that I'm going to hold her to, to the bargain that we made. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't need to happen now. And that I'm coming. Okay. And you just kind of feel that that heat in your chest. Sure. Um, there's two things that I want to do. Okay. First is... um. If I can find Rufio and he's not super sweaty from <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Rufio um, goes up to go to the bathroom. <laughs> super sweaty. <laughs> God, it's, did you just like run four miles? <laughs> it feels like it. Something like that. You're like Kenyan runners. Um Just wanna give him a big hug. Mm-hmm. My dick's out, bro. Doesn't matter to me. Cool. He hangs brain all the time. <laughs> hugged you before you felt it I give him a big hug and I just want to say thank you thank you so much and also you've done so good with fear he's helped me more than you realize and in that hug I want to give the inspiration back to you Oh, bitch I wish I could take credit for fear, but I think he's kind of doing it himself, and you guys have just as much to do with it as I do, so I thank you. Uh, I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I really gotta pee. <laughs> uh. And um, the second thing that I want to do is I want to uh, I want to find Cheskov. Cheskov? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. As you go to the werewolf den. Oh yeah, Cheskov getting an epilogue. <laughs> uh, Cheskov, you are if you want to. Let me do it. Yeah. Yeah. You're amongst the rest of the werewolves. You're next to uh, uh, fuck Dibble whatever her name is, uh, <laughs> Vasaya, and you two are in hushed tones, and it's fairly positive, as you kind of two sit together. Then. Shark kind of comes up as you're all kind of just sitting on the ground amongst the rest of your pack. You're wounded. They're all kind of resting everything off, but you, you're watching your men. I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to come in and say thank you. Yes. Thank you. You guys, you all fought so hard and you tried your best to keep him alive for me and You'll never know how much that means to me. 
I got to have a final word with him. And I know that some of you didn't get that with the ones that you cared about. Cheskov, you are going to be a great leader of this military, you and Visaya together. Gonna do big, big, incredible things. And I want to go ahead and reach behind me. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna pull out the remnants of the Berserker Great Axe. You know, if you're if you're gonna be a warlord, you need a weapon that shows people fear you. I want you to take this. I take it. Mm -hmm. Cheskov has the great axe. It's just a great axe, Mm -hmm. but it looks cool as shit. Yeah. I look at it for a couple seconds Mm -hmm. as I strap it to my back and look at Shart. If it was not for you, I would not be where I am. And I reach out my hand. If it was not for you and your pack, I would be nothing. You have my respect and you have my army. If you ever need us, call out. We will find you. Thank you. Thank you. Hell yeah. That's good. Anything else? That's all for me. Do uh, we, are we doing a morning thing or just the night stuff? Um, I haven't decided yet. Are you doing anything during the evening? Uh, that depends on if we have a morning thing or not. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, I could if have we'll have a morning, and then when you guys pass through the morning, we'll y- move on to that yeah, if, if you wanted more time to think about that, I was going to say, uh, no, I got w- it. if Rufio would see Thok at any point in time in his new You don't shape. see Thok. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I was going to say, the only other thing that I have is I have to meet up with Thok at some point. So Okay, so we'll slowly move on to the morning. Uh rest. Long rest. Everyone take a long rest. <laughs> Woo! Even Doc. And Strahd's back. <laughs> Yo, what up? Back from the dead. Back. I never die. I'm the back. land. Uh, this warmth, as you guys kind of up to the trap door, and you're all outfitted, Thok is nowhere to be seen. Neither am I. Oh, neither. neither am I. Neither okay. are you. Neither is Absidy. So it's uh, Dirt, Shart, Rufio. Mm-hmm. I'm going to, at first, just be like, these guys are always fucking late. And uh, I'll push the necklace mm-hmm. and be like, uh, Doc, Absidy, we're leaving. Where are you? You got your. You would have got yours back from his I would say you would have gotten yours back. Yeah. But you good. Uh, obviously you hear this. Uh, a couple moments go by, and everyone who has one on just hears, thank you for everything. And he steps out of a mile range, okay. and is mounted upon XYZ. Okay. And you go off into the distance? Yep. Okay. And I will... Absidy? What does that mean? I don't... Let me see dirt. He starts panicking. He... Guys. It's what he wants. He needs time to... We just got him back. He needs time. What if he doesn't have time? He's... He... Trust me. He's got time. Okay. Um... I'm going to use detect magic. mm Mm-hmm. Uh and try and look for anything Thok-esque. You don't get any kind of blip. Balls. Thok. You, um... The minute you feel this looking at the moon, the lumbering, as your body starts to break down, and your body, and your head kind of kneels gently onto the ground, you kind of fall. And as you wake up, you're in this white room. And amongst it is a, um, an older man. He's clad in white robes, golden kind of beard. And he sits in front of you. And he goes, welcome back. Fuck. You did a lot of good. I hope I did. 
Now comes a very difficult question. Will you go forward with them? If I can. And you see this warm smile. If, if this is it, I would like one more chance. But I don't want to come back if I die again. There's always a chance. But if this is your, your party, your group, it's, it's my family. Family's important. And you see, as this man kneels down, and he puts his head, his hands over your head, and he kisses very lightly the top of your forehead as this breath, this fresh air kind of comes back as the wounds slightly start to heal. As your old body, your green tinge comes back, and he sits. And he goes, you're going to need something. And you see him and he pulls up this parcel as he strips away the the armor. He puts this in your hand. May Pelor's light guide you. Thank you. And you see pulse. <laughs> and as you wake up, you hear the birds chirping as your eyes peel back. Your armor is stripped of you. And in your hand is this butcher kind of paper package. And as you rip... It's this gleaming silver armor with the seal of Peller on the front. And on the side are um, your sailing markings. As you sit there and the Anubis bust has just crumbled. I put it on. You put it on and you look like a million fucking bucks. I look at my hands. It feels... feels good. That soldier mentality is gone. You long for the sea. Look around for a holy symbol. And it's your massive chest plate with Peller's visage on it. And as you and Dirt and Shard are panicking, you see Thok completely decked out, new gear. And you have your necklace on you as he comes out and he looks happy. I don't think you've ever seen Thok like happy. Do I look alive? You look very much alive. What? You just keep walking around like this? Is this how you want to... That's fine. Like, you can do what you want. No, and I have the hat of disguise in my hand. His form does not shift. Wait, what? So the sun comes back and you can get a tan now? (laughs) Apparently. Looks like it. And, uh, Rufi will go up to him. Mm. Pat him on the on the sigil. Mm-hmm. My father followed Palor. You will be overwhelmingly welcome in his house. It's ironic. It's because is it or is it divine? Because <sighs> full circle. You don't know, but I'll tell you the story about what I was asked to do later. But your father followed Paler, I follow Paler, and now I follow you. Wherever you go, I'll follow. Then, uh, Steve. And Steve kind of gets up on his uh, desk. All right, so we've got a uh, table for four. It seems like four, but if our fifth ever shows, don't. Be scared to send them to us. I mean, I will keep an eye out and I will do my best, dude. Watch out for the farset. Never noticed your accent. Never got it. Please send us. <laughs> <laughs> and you see him, he's like, it goes through your heart door. And he gestures and you see in the middle of this field, this just wide door. Ratio and I'll misty step. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Always a fucking show off. <laughs> and as dirt opens the door and this blinding light comes out, we'll end it there and we'll move on to our epilogue. Oh. 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 Jesus Christ. So Absolutely that- take us out. <laughs> yeah, well that's that's a year and almost four months wrapped up. Guys, 
We have an epilogue episode, so I'll try not to get mushy, but thank you for following our... <clears throat> thank you for following our <laughs> journey uh, from Death House to here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Fucking D20 with us, bro. Hell yeah. Roll 20, whatever it is. <laughs> Roll 20. Whatever. Yeah. I don't care. Do it with us. I don't and, care. This uh, game made tears come out my face. Same. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye, guys. Love you all.